So that's it for this week in Respawn, you guys. Be sure you click subscribe so that uh, you're up to speed. And uh, that way you're going to get all the latest uh, in Machinima. Oh. Excuse me. Hello? Yeah, yeah. No, no. What? He's here? Don't let him in here. No, no, no. Don't. You got the you got the message that was that was here. I got it just now. This is a real pleasure. Yeah, yeah, I'm thrilled. Are you ready to play Halo? Are you ready to get your butthole flossed? I'm glad I picked Halo. I can't tell if your eyes are blue or green. They're blue. They look green to me. Are you gay? No. Well, everyone thinks you're gonna rape me. Well, that's because you're so man pretty. I'll admit it. I'm man enough to say it, but I don't like you. You're gonna treat me like a woman. If that's what you want. Am I really gonna have to duct tape my ass shut on this one? Yeah. I brought tape. Well, I'm glad because you're gonna have to use it on your asshole. I'm gonna beat you. You're not gonna beat me. This is why I picked Halo. But I'm probably gonna beat you. He's gonna lose. You're gonna lose. I'm gonna win. You're not. You're gonna do the opposite of win, which is lose. I'm gonna lose. Ha! Damn it! Which reminds me, sleep fucking sucks. I mean, it's great once you're doing it, but uh, I hate going to sleep. I mean, there is shit I want to read, there's games I want to play. Being human sucks. I want to be a species that doesn't sleep, like a rock. I also hate, you know, while we're on the subject of things I hate, I hate that gasoline fumes are bad for you. Why would something that smells so awesome be bad for you? Why would that give you cancer? And you know another thing? You know what else I hate? I hate pistachios that aren't partly open, so you can't actually open them with your fingers. God damn it, that pisses me off, because now you gotta go get a tool like a butter knife or something. You just want the nut. <laughs> as far as the cash money that all these uh, winners are gonna be awarded, it's coming from Cinemax. Can you believe that? We got like heavy duty sponsors on this on this uh, tournament, which is like put together by like three of us. Uh, it's so awesome, and there's like it's like serious money. These guys, uh, when they play, it's gonna be it's gonna get nasty. Uh, so you're not gonna want to miss this. I mean, who f for five thousand dollars, I I would rape my mom. Sorry, mom, but it's true. I would rape you for five k to death. Now what I want to do this episode of Respawn is go over my picks in the bracket challenge as well as a special guest. Some of you guys might know this guy. Come on over here, Bob. Everyone meet Bob. Hi. <laughs> I just realized every time I peek at your notes it looks like I'm staring at your dick. I would stare at it too. I stare at it all the time, and it's my dick. It never gets old, really. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. All right, so those are some, uh, I mean, those are some educated picks. Hutch knows what he's doing. He's talking to most of these guys. But I gotta be honest, my picks are better. Let's hear them. You wanna hear them? All right, Sivo, I'm going Envious. Uh, I'm going with Envious because they kicked our asses and I'm still sore from it. Uh, all right, Frag Nation. Okay, Frag Nation. The 15th seed of the 16 teams is a little team called Testy and the Testicles. I'm not joking. And you know what? I picked them to win because their name is magical. So in the finals, they're going to be playing Optic. And Optic, I love you guys, but you cannot and you will not beat Testy and the Testicles. I predict right now the tarot cards, the bones have spoken. Now, here's my semifinals. I've got Testy and the Testicles. Every time I say that, I'm gonna laugh. I've got Testy and the Testicles fighting Envious. And you know what? I picked Testy and the Testicles. Come on, Testies. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you guys. You are my, uh, you are the wind beneath my wings. And finally, in what is likely to be the most important match of the entire Frag Cup, we had Insane Stomp and Randoms. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny about this, Hutch. No, carry on. We're good. Insane Stop and Randoms squaring off against Testy and the Testicles. <laughs> who I've personally taken under my wing, uh, and I've gambled far too much on this match, since in the end, Insane Stomp and Randoms 
beat up Tessie of the testicles. No, don't cry. Come on. Don't fucking touch me, Hutch! You fake bullshit. Wipe that sh- You good, man? Are you good? No, look at me. Look at me. Are you good? I'm fine. Fuck. Pull it together. Tell these guys what you think. I mean, they're uh, they're kicking ass out there and they're trying to win themselves five grand, so it's on. Except for testing the testicles. We obviously don't give a shit about money. Or, or, or my love. I don't give a shit about anything. Hutch, you fucking... Fucking watch yourself. Fuck! Fuck! I'm testing the testicles. I'm testing the testicles. I just wanted the testicles! Oh, oh yeah! No, 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 You don't want to do this, man. You don't want to fucking do this, man. You don't want to do this. Stop fighting me. <laughs> the most creative uh, insult toward towards Sark that I see in the comments forum this will get a shout out on my Twitter. Just put that out there. So that's it, huh? That's the way it's gonna be. <clears throat> that's the way it's gonna be, and I actually have my three favorites right here. Are you ready to hear them? I got it, because okay. I got some for you too. All right. You fucking cunt. Go. So coming to number three, I have the one and only Big Boner. And his okay. comment his comment says, Sark, your birth certificate is an apology letter from the condom factory. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. Fucking big boner. <laughs> nice insult, Chief. You know what? <laughs> You're a vaginal blood fart. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Coming in at number two, I have Lopez0278. His comment is, I'm pretty sure Sark cries himself to sleep at night, realizing if it wasn't for Hutch, his life would mean nothing. Sark is like the fat, ugly kid you let hang out with him on the weekend so he won't commit suicide. <laughs> wow. Wow, Lopez. Uh, you know what you do before you go to sleep at night? You kneel down and you pray for a cure for AIDS. And you? You... <laughs> you... You, you, you're so skinny, you can hang glide on a Dorito. <laughs> Coming in at number three, I have Mastabates, and he says, Sark went into the Toyota dealership to buy a 4Runner, but when he tried to pay with Vagisil, they would only send, sell him a Scion and four disposable tampons because his vagina smells like salt and vinegar. <laughs> also, Sark is his own cock block because when he gets in bed with a woman, he can't get hard and he vomits. <laughs> wow. Uh, who is this from? Whose turn is it? Masturbates. Masturbates. Alright, already your name is a lie because you need to dick before you masturbate. And you, you look like Ben Stiller in Night at the Free Clinic. <laughs> yeah! gonna believe this shit. What did he do this time? I think he sent us back in time.
Next up, we got Muzzle Fuzzle playing. <laughs> We're so gay. It's just full on homo. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Respawn. I'm Mr. Sark. Not much. I hope you guys had a kick ass weekend. Happy Monday to you. Uh, we had a pretty kick ass weekend ourselves. Went to the happiest place on earth, and I'm not talking about your mom's pussy. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, Philip DeFrigo's not that bad. It could be a lot worse. What's up, forum? <laughs> Chilled chaos? That means cold chaos. I'm just kidding. Oh, no, I'm not. Now, this video went viral just a couple weeks ago, and I'm making tons of money off of it. See, I always knew I was going to be a success in life. Mexican standoff? <laughs> Mexicans are too lazy to stand. I'm just kidding. Oh. So tell me, Forum, what's your favorite livestock to have sex with? Leave your creative and interesting responses in the comments. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Forum. I'm Ray William Douchebag, and I approve this message. Doing your mom, do it, doing your mom. You remember blonde, do it, do it, your mom. What? <laughs> My voice sounds like I'm concentrating on holding back a shit right now. That's how it sounds to me, in my head. We've got people minding that thing around the clock here, and they are insanely creative, and they want to do rad shit. Speaking of shit, you look like shit right now. But uh, we'll see you guys then. Hopefully we... <coughs> hopefully we... <coughs> hopefully we live to see it. You know, you know what this is like? It's like I was blowing a dude and all... I was blowing an AIDS... AIDSy dude and all the juice went down the wrong way. Like into my lungs. Is that what it's like for you? That's what it feels like. Modern Warfare 2 is not a perfect game. Uh, it's been filled with glitches since, since the very beginning. And domination's no different, so basically the rundown of this glitch is that it is a random occurrence, it looks like, uh, when two or more people hop on a flag to cap- <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> I knew you could handle it! <laughs> okay, <laughs> Attempted to scoot him slightly forward so that he can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, Modern Warfare 2 is not a perfect game. Uh, it has been filled with uh, glitches since the very beginning, and domination is no different. Uh, looks like when two or more people hop on a flag, right? God, I can't. I can't. It's not that I'm. It's not that I'm trying to focus on not laughing. <laughs> I can think about what I'm saying. Let's try one more time. Let's try one more time. All right, three, two. Alright, but we are required by company law to show you who we picked uh, tomorrow on Respawn. So stay tuned. We're going to be like breaking down who we've got in our brackets. And the idea behind these brackets... <laughs> <laughs> One other thing we're required by company law to mention here is uh, who is providing uh, the prize money. And that prize money is coming from Cinemax. Who <laughs> <laughs> it's good, it's good. We had a good break there. <clears throat> we had a good break there. <laughs> I feel like I'm instigating it because I'm looking right at you. <laughs> it's like I want you to comfort me through it, you know? <laughs> Help me out, Wood. Help me not laugh. I want more, too. I want more of more feet shuffling and trying. Three, two. Now, of course, you guys know this by now, but we got we to gotta give another shout out to Cinemax. <laughs> The guys that put up the money for all of our winners, so um, all the prize money come from Cinemax. You guys show them some love. They got some gaming competitions going right now, and uh, <laughs> yeah. finally I couldn't do it. We need to do that again anyway. I'm not giving Cinemax their proper. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We're good. We're good. 
three, two. So uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow on Respawn. We'll have our brackets. <laughs> Literally, I just pinched my dick for no reason. I was like, so that's it for uh, this episode of Frag Cut Preview. So <laughs> what? <laughs> Humping Mario on a couch in a dirty apartment. She is hot. Then I got it. Then I really got it when she got on Ouija. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's why I keep a sexy roll of tissue right That's next right. to my desk. It's not the first time I've cranked the peach. I'm gonna be honest with you. That little lady, she does it for me. That weird to you? Oh, fuck you guys. I only say that because you act like you've never rubbed one out to Peach, man. Not to her so much. She just doesn't do it for me. Mm. Tiny little pixel, I need vivid imagery. Mm. Like, uh, Hawk from Brute Force. Remember that? You, like, back her up against a wall and, like, yeah. you lose the camera in. It's just like a apple bun jean, you know what I'm saying? Totally. God. I kind of have a little bit of yellow fever when it comes to video game women, like Chun Li in Street Fighter 4. Yep. Amen, man. Yeah. Have you ever? Uh, or when she remember when uh, Street Fighter 2 when she would do the upside down kick, and if you paused it at just the right frame, you could see she was wearing a thong. Totally. Totally. A lot of boners growing up. Also, Little Sisters. Don't rule them out. The uh, Little Sisters from Bioshock. No, not what I was thinking. Hold them up, choke them out. Man, it's really rock solid. <clears throat> not rock so. solid. This time he's playing some Halo 3. Go figure. <laughs> so now I know exactly how big a dick I could blow. Got to know. Yeah, about that big. That's about five and a half inches circumference. The more you know. Yep. Next video is uh, Proving Ground. My Proving Ground. Go watch it. <laughs> Does it make you uncomfortable when I do that? Red Bull. Because if you don't drink it, we'll find you and fucking kill you. Actually, I'm with that one. I'm down with that one. So I was fast. playing a little quick life before we came here, like brushing up. Yeah. I got stretched, stretched like a like a 1970 Vietnamese hooker. Hello, hello, hello. Hooker, hooker. Yeah, we got it.
What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Respawn. I'm Mr. Sark, and this is not Hutch. In fact, Hutch is nowhere to be seen because he's busy. He's back at the office. Halo Reach came in, so this is me time. It's naughty time. You know, one of my favorite things about Southern California, and especially the pier, the variety of people you see. You've got everything from Elmo. I mean, Elmo to... to... War Heroes. We'll just, we'll just go with War Hero on this one. Speaking of war heroes, two birds are playing some more uh, Nazi zombies, uh, and they're on the uh, scary lighthouse map. Go check it out. I love this map. Is he? He's still in his chair, right? He's not getting. All right, keep an eye out for me, Wood, because I don't trust him. I looked into his eyes. I saw the devil, El Diablo. Yeah, I don't trust that guy. He can walk. I guarantee you. God, I'm missing Hutch right now. I didn't think I'd miss him, but I'm just getting really bummed. Our next video is from Force, from uh, Force StarCraft II Strategy. He's doing a little uh, Reaper, Barracks, Terran. You should check it out. I mean, just leave me alone. You know, every time I look out at the ocean, it reminds me of two things. Just peace. I would just say just peace. Peacefulness and Hutch. Our next vid is from Camp Hutch. He's talking to K-pop. She's a girl gamer. You know what would make this ride awesome? If Hutch were here. If only Hutch was here. Who's your daddy? Pick his mind. I got something for Hutch, a little souvenir for Hutch. When we get back, I'm gonna give it to him. It's gonna be, he's gonna be so happy. He's gonna be so happy when I give him his feet. Now, some of you guys might think that I'm super stoked to be here because of all the little kids running around. It's not how it is, man. It's not how it is. I have willpower. I'm not, a, I'm not attracted. There are kids everywhere here, though. Statistically speaking, of all the millions of times that you and me have been viewed on the internet, you gotta think at least someone in the world has cranked one out to you and me. Yeah, makes you feel good. Do you ever do you ever drop a deuce and then think to yourself, so that's how big a dick I could take? No, but I mean, <laughs> me neither. I've only, sure. I've only shit my pants once in my life. Really? I ate uh, like seven seven dill pickles when I was eight years old. And I woke up literally at four o'clock in the morning with like it looked like relish. It was like in my underwear. It was disgusting. <laughs> Jesus. I've shit my pants a lot. <laughs> I gotta be honest. No, you haven't. I have. Have you done it I've, recently? I've shit the bed. I've shit the car. And one time after a wedding where uh, my choices were the fish or the chicken, and I went with the fish. And I'm not going to mention whose wedding this was, uh, but it was a horrible mistake <laughs> because what ended up happening is I was puking and then, you know, you get that feeling like your bowels are about to release. Uh, I tried to clinch it off using like my butt kegels. They were not strong enough. And I literally painted the wall in front of my toilet because I was been, I like shotgun blast. So, so, no, that's not it. I immediately get up, and I'm just fucking, my ass is covered in shit. I sit down on the toilet. Uh, now I'm vomiting down into where my pants are stretched between my legs. So I grab a trash can, and I'm throwing up in the trash can. And by the end of it, my bathroom looked like that fucking Tarantino bathroom in Pulp Fiction. Like, <laughs> So that was a fun wedding. Would you rather lose an eye or your dick? Uh, an eye. That's a, that's a no-brainer. I don't know. Your dick? Yeah, you, that's what fists are for. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. 
Why are we fucking? I just don't no, want to go, man. I don't going. want to drive. Well, no, we've been doing this anywhere. entire scene of LA. Shitty weather. We've been giving these guys just, a taste. I'm unmotivated. No, it doesn't I'm make it, it doesn't make a lick of sense. You've never had a day where you don't want to get out of the house. No, I have. I'm just. Saying I don't want to drive. Never, no, listen. So, you're not listening. I don't want to fucking drive. I don't want to go anywhere. Yeah, let's stay. No, that makes sense. I don't want to do it, dude. Just, we can just do it here. We'll do it here. Why do? You, what's the point of doing Wood's it? Woods, all right. Car? You're rolling on this, right, Wood? Yep. There is no point of shooting an entire respawn episode. I, I just want to go. I'm unmotivated. Of a sar- You've of never a had a fucking unmotivated day. No, I have. I don't it's go. just like it feels kind of. I don't want to leave. I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know. We can do it here. We can do it here just fine. No, what's it's a nice point? crisp day? How are we gonna get into a car and not go somewhere? It's just fucking. It's. I'm a little unmotivated that, today. You've never no. had a day where you just don't want to fucking go out and. No, I. I have one of those days. Just I don't want to drive just, anywhere. No, man, I don't want to. I don't want to fucking drive anywhere. Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's stay. Let's just. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see my face start to fucking just crumble? So Ken Burton now would absolutely destroy Ken Burton December? Yeah, Ken Burton would fucking himself. It passed self. Sounds hot. Yeah, not like Ron Jeremy. He he couldn't like tuck it under like uh, Ron Jeremy supposedly could. My buddy could Can you imagine touching your own butthole with with your own dick? My my old roommate fuck, could fuck himself in the ass, and he did so about two times a year. Ugh. True story. That's hey, not gay, man. Just extreme masturbation. He did it with a condom, too, because he didn't want to come his own asshole. Now you're fucking... I'm not old. kidding. You're lying. I'm not kidding. <laughs> what a liar. I'm not kidding. No one... No, that, that train of thought has never... This is going to be a long episode. But that train of thought has never crossed a man's mind. I gotta put a condom on so that I don't jizz in my own butthole. Ever. I, no gar- I guarantee you it Get has. Get him on the phone. Well, guys like you and me don't need to worry about it because we're tall. And my fucking uh, taint is like 18 inches long. My butthole is like in my lower back. I don't know why. Why it fucking is weird. Could be like a vestigial tail joint. You have, the, uh, you have skid marks right. on the back of your shirt? Is that what happens? I, shit, I have to lay on the, my back on the toilet. <laughs> mm. Every time I sit on the toilet, I just spray all over the tank. You guys should definitely go check out Realm's latest uh, video, the MMORPG branch of uh, Machinima. They are in our front lobby and they are talking to Adrian Curry. I just did like the presidential thing. Ch- change is in the wind, people. Vote for me. I'm a black president. Yeah. That's why he won. Come on. <laughs> we gotta go the full mile. All right. We gotta finish out this no, marathon. Right. So who's who's it gonna be? Um, Your shift starts at two yeah, in the morning. Yeah. It is now about one in the afternoon. I think Hollywood's gonna get it before me. I think you're gonna get it, dude. I think Hollywood's gonna get it. That fucking black bastard. <laughs> Man, you should get black camo when you get Oh well, we'll just camo. call we'll just call it reparations. <laughs> what? I'm. It's like a collective. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm being racist right now. I'm, s- I'm gonna set this one out. I'm gonna let you. Uh... <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> New Year's resolution. I'm not gonna be racist. I'm not gonna be homophobic. I'm not going to be a bigot, anti-feminine, you know. <clears throat> How many respawns do you I'm not going to beat my wife anymore as of 2011. All new. Also, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick the smack. No more black tar heroin for this guy. Mm. Going cold turkey. I'm going to stick to, like, the healthy alternatives, you know. Caffeine. Cocaine. Cocaine. Uh, yeah, in eight ball form. And, uh... Like a turkey baster? Yeah. I'll drop acid. <laughs> whenever I start to feel like my control is slipping. 
It's going to be great. 2011. 2011 is going to be awesome. New man. One day at a time. So what we're going to do is take a more detailed look at some of these stats that we've accumulated over this incredible run. We're going to go upstairs, take a look at the uh, combat record. And uh, we'll break it down. We'll record some VO and we'll put this thing together. Is that Let's all we're going to do upstairs? Don't. Don't do this to me now, Hutch. Not in my moment of weakness. <laughs> Maybe like, uh, you know, like my dick between your butt cheeks, <laughs> sliding up and down. Not in. <laughs> Fucking make it weird. Always weird. <laughs> I can't even... You can't use that wood. You cannot use that. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> okay. Okay, just because I think about that sometimes doesn't mean... You have to fucking just put my dirty laundry out there for everyone. Okay? Your Seriously. Hand, your hand's shaking. <laughs> Suck it in. <laughs> have you ever motorboated someone in your life? Just. Just burrow your head think deeply that in between those two caverns. And break just, the mood. Just, be like, all right. Two caverns? What kind of concave well, titties are you, what about <laughs> You've never seen inverted boobs? Come on, guys. No, only on, Live uh, little, you know? Only in uh, World War II death camp photos. <laughs> Second question. Okay. Have you had a strap on you, Don you? No, not a, not a strap on. I, I have you had. Be honest. I've had, no, not a strap on. I've, I have had. I've, I've had. I've had. Finger or no, object? No fist. No, no fist. <laughs> let's uh, let's say you were. <laughs> I had this friend, right? <laughs> Prostate. <laughs> I had this friend, right? One of the one of the most man. <laughs> Like, Happy New Year! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even start on my chocolate cake here. No. Chocolate. Chocolate coca. That's Swedish for Say that again? Uh, Did you just say coca. You said chocolate cock? Chocolate coca. No, yeah, chocolate coca. You like chocolate, chocolate cock? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's two chocolate cocks at this table right now. Chocolate <laughs> cock. <laughs> this is the best cock I've ever had. Chocolate cock. It's not chocolate cock. I could put this whole piece of chocolate cock in my mouth. <laughs> Of course you can. Well, I choose to nibble it. <laughs> there's, there's people all around us with children. And we're saying Literally, black jockey like, cock. And we're, we're shouting cock at the top of us. I mean, it's Fuck not it. like you haven't yelled cock on the top of your lungs before. To children. <laughs> Plenty of times. Yeah. Earlier, earlier, Hutch did a fart. Uh, literally, it was like this, including his facial expressions. He's like... <laughs> That's what it was like. That was like, and scene. You sang a song with your ass. <laughs> it was right after you told me we were at Ikea. It was right after you told me, you, you, gotta, you gotta let it out, let it out. Yeah. Immediately after you said it. Yeah, it was clearly like a, an ass statement. Because it was like, you were proud though, look at the look on your face, you were like, hey. The follow up is the most important part. It's the follow up. The point. exclamation point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's because you can't put on an so ast Astro headset and sound whore, Magic Player, Adam. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you have to say about that? What if I was to wear headphones while playing? That's fine, man. Just fucking play. With as me. long as you can. I play it here. Yeah. Cards. Oh. I'm a dick. Oh. You simul play. I need somebody to play with my dick too, but I'm not asking you guys. Topic. That's, yeah. first, that's a different group. A group of people that you can select from? Yeah, it's like a, yeah. Forget I mentioned playing with my dick. Just cut that last part, Wood. Just cut the. 
the part. The we'll, just, we'll just leave it at the magic. We'll just leave it at the magic yeah. the gathering part. Yeah, because it got magic. Weird. Yeah, yeah. penis. No, 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 not not together. Cut that part too. Cut the part about the penis. We're just gonna leave yeah. it at the at the card collectible card game. Yeah, yeah, and my loneliness. Because really, it's, you gotta stop talking about your loneliness. We've already talked. It gets so weird when you talk about that, man. You're yeah. you're a grown grown adult. Should be uh, number one. You should have people to not keep you lonely. And number two, don't talk about it in a public forum because you make people uncomfortable. I feel kind of lonely now too. See what you see what he's doing. I mean, I That's you like I that it. feeling. I was feeling good, and then you. you wow, well, this now is you depressing. Know, now you know how I feel, and uh, it would just be cool if somebody played uh, played with me cards, not my dick. Cut that part about cut the part about my dick on that one. We'll just. Hey, I'm not lonely anymore. I'm good. Dude, you yeah. gotta get so like Snapped play with your dick, quick, bro. Huh? <laughs> good. Feeling good. You got some videos to call out? Let's just yeah. We should just start over. Alright? Let's sure. just start over yeah, right now. Okay, right. You can just cut it. Yeah. He's a very talented editor. Yeah. Wood's got my back. Someone should give him a All right. raise. Alright. Like lots of money. No no no, I'm money. back. I'm back. Alright. Like um, tons of money. We're trying to pimp out some uh, director's channels that we think you guys should go check out. Um, because I mean, we're lazy, and that's an easy way to send you somewhere that you can watch like 50 videos, well, and we don't have to do 50 callouts. So I guess basically. the deal is, is that we're trying to like highlight channels yeah. that are doing a good job. I mean, we want to be able to not only talk about videos, but if you're, you know, somebody who has entertaining content, you're nice. You don't understand what was it? Straling? Straling. You don't use the word straling. And you're white. You can <laughs> <laughs> or that was not the. It was. It was that part of that was a different meeting. I fucked that up. Just cut that part, Wood. Just we'll just cut the. So just cut the parts about my my. And the racism. <laughs> I'm gonna pee my pants. <laughs> so so, so, so anyway, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, everyone's everyone's welcome. I'm just gonna start over. Everyone's welcome to these call-outs. It doesn't matter your race, your creed, or your religion. <laughs> <laughs> and this week we're pimping out P Bat. Um, or some badges. I was, I to be perfectly honest, like I didn't think that I wanted to get badges, and then I started getting them, and I, I was playing with Sark. I was like, "Where are my badges?" It sucks me back in. Sucked it, just sucked it right back. Cut that part about sucking. Suck. <laughs> Cut that part about sucking me. All right, Wood. All right. So no penis, no racism, and no sucking me. All right. Yeah. So we're just gonna move on. So we'll just pick it up at the next thing. Yeah. All right. Yes. All right, cool. Thanks, Wood. My number one. Hmm. Hollywood's freezing. Yeah. Back there. He's jumping around. <laughs> oh, block your face, bro. <laughs> Where That's is Hollywood, he? where is he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They don't have weather like this in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's where his people are from. <laughs> You're so funny. I don't know what's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've managed, we haven't been able to make Tave racist, apparently. He's still very polite. He's still like a good guy. I've done everything I could to corrupt this guy, but it just didn't work. I tried black tar heroin. Uh, I tried <coughs> AIDS-ridden hookers. I, I tried sexy underage youth, although turns out you can yeah. own a 16-year-old in Sweden, so big deal. Yeah, that's, that's weird. <laughs> like, All right, uh, so it's challenge time. How about this episode? Uh, we don't say anything gay. I know you guys love, love to talk about penis. We can, we can do that. We can do that. You guys are gonna fail so bad. Oh, that's a tall order. I mean, I had, I had one burning question on my mind. Some may, no? I mean, it, go ahead, go here's ahead. the thing. In my mind, it's more a question of being straight, though. Okay. It's more, yeah. Is this the argument that you're so gay you're straight? No, 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 no. No, no, we, we don't want to, this episode, we don't want anything gay. All right, we're not gonna, we're not gonna go there. But, let me just kick this off with this thought, which to me is more a matter of straightness. Okay, so th this is what I was thinking about, and I was really, I wanted to bounce this off you guys. Okay. 
could you, uh, using, this is basically a question of how, how powerful is your mind, could you, <laughs> just through sheer imagination, um, finish <laughs> during a blowjob from a, from a man? How is that not gay? Well, Mr. Jevs has got a vid up where he's interviewing our very own community management, Optic J, uh, who I wish we could have on the... Focus, focus, be strong. Who uh, I wish he could have been here. Uh, today he's not feeling too well. We're gonna start having that guy, uh, the, the, we're gonna start having guys, uh, guys on the show. Uh, that guy, Optic J on the show. Uh, possibly Fwiz, maybe Shore Wars. Not straight. Uh, check out the vid, enjoy it, and uh, you know, try and forget the last 30 seconds. Uh, Mr. Jevs has a video up where he interviews our very own Optic J, who I would have loved to have... To, uh, focus, <laughs> focus, sorry. <laughs> Mr. Jevs has a vid up where he's interviewing our very own Optic J, who I would have loved to have uh, had on the show, uh, but he is... He is... Focus. He's not feeling too well today, so he's not here. We're gonna start having that guy on. We're gonna start having uh, uh, guys, guys. Uh, we're gonna start having that guy on more. Uh, <laughs> rank amateurs. Do you guys see what I'm dealing with? You see this? I, don't I think should be in the fucking. I should be a poker champion. <laughs> my mama poker face. Mama poker face. <laughs> What's he doing? He's, he's going to his Sark place. Usually that means someone pissed him off. I'm guessing... Uh, shot in the dark. I'm guessing it was either Wood or you. It was him. I knew it, yeah. That's Hollywood. I called it. It's a good one. It's most of the time. <laughs> as, soon as, I, as soon as I see Hollywood, I get pissed off. Yeah. Because I'm a fucking racist. <laughs> Professional, amateur, you like racist, <laughs> open-minded, straight-ish, not. You like a dog that only that only blacks at only blacks at <laughs> only only blacks at bark people. <laughs> it smells like ass. Well, it's a cigarette. That feels very tampon-like. Did you? You need a string coming out. Is he still doing it? You need an applicator and a string. <laughs> oh man, I could smoke. I could smoke with my ass. Have you ever gone <laughs> with your asshole? You've never done that? When I was a kid, I used to think that if I swum with my asshole above water, that I would survive, because I could go... <laughs> with my asshole. Should we do some call-outs? Prayer. Well, all right. I can't really argue. I promise, food out of you that I, can. I promise to stake dinner at 500,000. And it was right around 800,000 when I was like, I never really got you that dinner, did I? Let's just, just do it when we do a million. We didn't forget. In that I very would. same retard voice. Uh, uh. You should just do it. We're getting million subscribers. <laughs> Is am I a retard or am I a deaf person? You can't tell. It's the same voice. We were arguing about this earlier. I don't know about arguing. Conversing. Well, you said that deaf people talk yeah. one way and retarded people talk another way. No, and I, I said, said deaf people aren't retarded. Oh. No, 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 I don't think they're retarded. I just think they try, talk like retarded. Try and catch me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So we came to the park for applesauce. Am I deaf or am I retarded? It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell, even uh, with my supreme acting abilities. <clears throat> you know, we're going from yellow to orange. Yeah. I'm the, uh, I'm the terrorist threat level. Yeah. Only going to security. sit on the, yeah. No, I'm not going to make a dick parallel. We'll just stick to colors. Go orange. from like a nanny nice. to a wood. Are you... Yeah, well... <laughs> well... You did it. The dick scale? <laughs> Jeff, calm dick. It's go time. Wood, man. I don't want to know. I'm telling you. 
He wears tight pants sometimes, like a baby holding an apple, like yeah. a ner like a nervous fireman. Swinging like yeah, it's like a grandfather <laughs> clock pendulum. There's nothing grandfather about it though. It's like father, straight up father. Like a cool like eighteen a father, year old father. Father you know? cock pendulum. Uh. <laughs> <sighs> wow. I don't even know where to go from there. We fucking crashed this episode into the ground and then fucking climbed out of the wreckage, then dug our own graves and bit down on the cyanide pills <laughs> as we pulled pins on grenades. No open casket funerals for this episode. That does not make any sense. Okay, fucking Matlock getting all legalese on me. What do you guys even... I, I tuned out like three minutes ago. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> I don't even remember what happened. I have no what idea what you're doing next. Say, I think we're chucking tennis balls Yeah, we're throwing you. these oh, yeah. things at you. Awesome. Alright, I'm not sorry for what I did anymore, because I did my penance. If you think there's a punishment I should have endured instead, let us know in the comments. Until then, go fuck yourselves. Oh yeah. It's go time. We're gonna fucking throw tennis balls at you, Sark. Uh, all these boss on us around, Sark. The game ends right now. Right now. It's about to get... Long up in this bitch. Poster tube? I don't think so. Not mine. There they are. Pretty maids all in a row. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Shit. There's sap on this tree. Ugh. any poker games I don't think we've had any poker no, vids no. on the network so that's awesome second uh, I think he's playing for cash I think he's like he's 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 issuing like some some PayPal challenges I'm like hey how's it going hey look, hey, look at this man I'm how you good. doing hi how's it going I'm what are you up to uh, oh you're selling cans uh -huh. do you live around here oh yeah but we broke it you got an apartment? No apartment, but I have a place on the, you know, to relax good. Wait, what? I have to relax and okay, drink coffee. You kill, you kill the lunch kid <laughs> for coffee? No, 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 I kill you good, relax, and okay, I drink coffee good. And good, uh, I like a good show, good show. Oh, you like a good show. Well, you're coming to the right place, man. I don't care if you did kill Goldilocks for coffee. This is the right place. Is that helicopter looking for you or for me? Okay, check it out. Hey, take it easy. Take it easy, man. I love you. I love the, uh, I love the homeless. Fucking whore alley. Jesus H. Christ. Wood, cover me. Yeah, so I apologize for that. Not a huge fan of the homeless. In fact, I do, uh, you know, fantasize about murdering them. Uh, we've got our next call out is actually some portal. This is like a, this is a respawn rookie. Slow down. A fucking goddamn BMW. Merciless Walrus. He's doing a let's play on portal. Uh, this guy has good commentary. Go check it out. It's a ghetto bird. It couldn't be because three murders just happened on this street corner, could it? We're up to my yeah. show. Scene yeah. ah! Anners. Hello, my name is Scene Anners. There's a new episode, his last episode, since I blew the living shit out of him. Is that another helicopter or did I miss? Point blank. All right, so in case you couldn't tell, we're all a little low blood sugar today, so. But we do have one final huge announcement before we, uh, yeah. 
Oh. Oh, okay. 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 Don't There's force it. He's sipping in his glass, you know? Crazy, I wonder why. So weird. What's going on? What are you doing? <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yes. We had one more huge announcement that was supposed to go down last week, but since it was April Fool's, and since we were hitting 1 million subs, it didn't. So okay, we're going to cover right. it. Okay, that goes we're going to cover it right now. Huge announcement. All right. Are you good? Are you all like... Yeah, I'm, I'm just parched. You're it's all nice. milked up? That's not okay. All right. So, huge announcement. Can we do this thing finally? Yeah, yeah good. It's a big now. deal. You guys done fucking... Uh, my throat was super dry. Clowning guy... around. I got the lactate pills. All right. Our huge announcement is give me a drum roll scene anners with what your mouth hey. our new premiere director is mr phantasmo hey! and to celebrate we're gonna toast mr phantasmo right now give me one second i'll be right back oh yeah with some treats dudes why I took the lactate pill. I figure, why not? Oh god, I had so much fun for lunch. Don't burn so, yourself. Uh, yeah. Oh, it blew out. Oh well. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to the party, pal, Mr. Phantasmo. Cheers. What's Cheers. wrong with your cupcake? There's nothing wrong with my cupcake. There's nothing wrong with this thing. You guys good? Yeah, yeah I'm good. Oh my god. Oh good? That's good. What about yours? I almost got that one. It's good. You wanna try it? I'm good. I'm good. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Nanos, can I try yours? Oh yeah, sure. Here. Thank Just you. Take it all. I don't want I don't want to stop you from eating this. No no, no 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 no. My pleasure. Yeah, real nice. Mmm. Just kinda of, no, a little bit more. Come on, you're doing great. You're doing great. That's oh. good. Now eat up. No, 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 it's all yours. I'm gonna say it for later. Okay. Why well, so good, man? Mmm. Mm. We gotta save this as like so we can remember the day. Uh-huh. Fantastic came on board. Man. Long overdue though. Come on. That guy. That's the quality. He's just quality, uh. You got something on your chin. Right here. Hey, yeah. yeah, you're good. Yeah. yeah. One of my favorite commentators. Has been since the beginning. I just wish you were here to share this with us. Oh shit, I got some on my shirt. Mm. You want some mine? No, I'm really good. I'm, I'm great. I'm great. I'm totally good. This, this cappuccino. No, oh, I'm good. Oh my god. If you need a little... Once you get... Here, why don't you just double fist it? There you go. Come on, come on, cupcake. Mmm, knead it up. Mmm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's all Real right. good. Mm. The pistachio is really good. I had no idea that uh, the red velvet. This has a little too much frosting on it, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm gonna put that back in the box. There we go. That's that's more my speed now. Gone good. Are you guys hands shaking? Show us your uh, your sex offender face. Do that, you know. The, oh, uh, so they don't know the story. Come on. You know, this, that face needs no story. All right. Want to get up a close up on this for the sex offender face? All right. Do your VO, man. It's do your VO. Oh yeah. Hutch, hutch, hutch. Oh, I'm, oh yeah. I'm a, I'm a dirty girl. Hutch. Yeah. My name's Hutch. <laughs> <laughs>
You gonna pay for COD Elite? Have you ever had like a really high frequency fart that sounded like that? Where it wasn't like the butt cheeks flapping? Like, it was like. I think it's somebody's trying to communicate with us. Some sort of. Uh, what the hell is that? Those are fun because you can, have a, you can have a fart that literally lasts yeah. like 40 seconds if you modulate it right. And then it starts to trigger out, and you find the extra like ab work. And you're done. Like, fuck, world record. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> sick. <coughs> Is that it for this video? <laughs> are, you, are you kicking it to me right now? Is that my cue or? <laughs> What's happening? Uh oh, I already feel lost. My, my show is it's suddenly not scary, right? When this happens. <laughs> Nanners is gonna be stepping it up a bit, but he's a lazy piece of shit, so he's not gonna be going daily with us. <laughs> what was the point of that? Just assume it was uh, something I said. <laughs> Every Friday, we're also going to be uh, filming uh, a suicide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, that'll be on C Show. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else we got? Um, oh, oh. Um. <laughs> All right. Let's get in the spirit of things. Blue touch. Nanners. Yeah. Enjoy Coca Cola. Oh. Coke. Nanage. Basically, yeah, just like Coke. What a coincidence. Oh, look at the. Sh God. <laughs> we just. Put... Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this over my this shirt. Is some hot episode right now. Okay. This is a big shirt, man. It's like a... Hey, I got a bike. Hey! Look what you got. You got a bike there. What do you got? What do you got on your shirt, man? Okay. Uh, today, Hutch. Not feeling it. No, he's not feeling it. Okay. I deserve this. I deserve... I deserve this. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I got a lot of nipple hair. See that? We can see that. Italian. Yes, we can. Your belly button has B.O. Let's do this. So I woke up today, there was an email in my inbox saying the power was out at the Machinima office. So I get to stay home today. I emailed the boys. They're going to film what they do with their snow day. So far, not bad. All right, let's do it, Miles. I want to play some Mass Effect. Thank you. Thank you. Tell everyone how happy you are. Tell everyone how happy you are here. I'll kill you. I'm gonna kill you. It's uh, friendship, camaraderie, camaraderie. I had a good time. It's, uh, I mean, yeah. Ooh, Jesus. Did he have... <laughs> but I recently discovered one. Hutch showed it to me, and now I... I don't know if I showed it to you. They brought. You did. You showed you. They brought it, but you you brought it in. Did you like, guys you got fart? No. I didn't fart. 
My my bowel movements lately have been is that, fucking is that just me? So I do not. No wipers? Or I had a legit no me? wiper the other day. I wiped Did you my no ass. wipe it? Or no, do you wi- no you wipe I, I wiped it, but I looked. There was nothing there. To well, this day, you... I'm the only guy in the world who's ever no wiped. For real. Shit with confidence that there was no residue. Mm-hmm. Got up and rolled out of there. Uh, all right, here's a deep question from, from Alejandro Cortez. Uh, sum up your lives in three words. Be original. The first thing I thought of was smack my bitch up and then realize that's four. That's four. And then I quickly got upset that I didn't have four words instead of three. So This is good. You think in me in memes. Yeah. And I'm gonna I'm gonna challenge myself to figure out your language. Okay. You're, gonna be yeah. like, you're sad right now. Just watch you just quoted bad boys or something like that. You know? <laughs> like you're that's, happy right how now. How did you know that? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so that's your smack my bitch. You can oh. just cut it off there. Smack my bitch. What was yours? I'll say thinking too much. Thinking too much. Yeah. And I'll go uh, darkness inside me. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back. You want to welcome me back, sir? We just want to welcome you back, man. Hey, check out your office. We give you a. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Come on, let's go look at it. Let's go have a look. (laughs) Hey! This is great, you guys. This is great. Looks great. What's this thing? What is that? (laughs) What what could that possibly be? What could this be? I'm trying. I'm trying to tell by the shape of it, but it's just so long. It's not like anything I remember all like that. <laughs> the sexual tension is too much. I gotta get out of here. Constant. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my name is Sark, and I'm here to say I love Fruit Loops in a major way. I love sucking dudes when they are gay. It's not as fun when they are stray. It tastes real good when they have A. Do you guys not lead in so much? I think we're magnetic. I think we need to be close to each other's heads. How long were we doing that for? Was it the whole video? Is this embarrassing? The whole, whole episode. So like, are we gonna look really stupid? Does that look stupid? Can you see that? Yeah. I like the wedding ring, it's a nice touch. <laughs> what about the... What about the caress? Can you not caress that, my kneecap? Can you send chills up your leg? Man. I'm picturing fucking you right now. <laughs> and it is working for me. It is working for me. The worst Go nightmare on. I ever had, I was, I was free falling, and then uh, when I was about to hit the ground, I woke up, and uh, my, shit bed, the bed. my bed was shaking. I didn't, oh. shit, the bed. I didn't oh. shit the bed that night. I shit the bed one night when I ate like five dill pickles yeah. from like Costco, and I woke up with relish in my underwear. It's <laughs> disgusting. Oh, that sounds awful. Sorry, go ahead. Um, I don't really have nightmares. As I'm boring as that sounds. Relish nightmare now. Yeah, you well, don't that, have nightmares. I really don't have nightmares. <laughs> I, I dream about normal stuff. Yeah, the dill pickle thing is kind of nightmarish. It was not uh, fun. I shit relish. Did you when you <laughs> shit, listen, listen, when you shit your pants? Do you wake up or you just wake up to shit? I woke up shitting my pants. Uh, this let's is see, dog. nightmare. Uh, this has become a nightmare. Yeah. Uh, no, what, what's your nightmare? I <laughs> had a nightmare. I had a rec- <laughs> I had a recurring nightmare when I was a kid. That was very vivid. I was trapped in a Tron, like a Tron grid, like a maze. So I was running through this maze, and in the maze with me was a like a King Kong style gorilla, and a giant spider. Did you get maze. out, or did you wake up right when you were about to die, or something? I've never. No, no, no. That's the other thing is I always seem to like win in my dreams, which is kind of cool because that's a lot different than real life. Samia Hussein. <laughs> that sucks. Would you rather be blind or have no arms? Also, where are the pics? As in, let's be specific. Kid pics specific, yeah. Our, well, careful, careful. Pics of our, us as our kids. child yeah. pictures. No, well, yeah. of us. With if you just arms. wanted yeah, kid yeah, pics, yeah. I've got hard drives full of those. But I had to, we had to wait a week to get our 
useful picks. So uh, I think we'll uh, we'll just put them up right now. And yes. All right, so for the next game, we're gonna give Hutch a really, uh, just a handicap to make it fair. So uh, I've set up the board here, um, just to make the game, just to make the game fair. I know Hutch is cool with this. <laughs> Manages this down. Go. You, what, what is that even? Okay, go, go, right, go. go. Here we go. Uh, I'll go first. Okay. I'll go food. Okay, Sark, if he beats you. I don't even know what I to do. I have taken all, everything that Hutch knows about chess and just shat on it. I'm going to put you in check right now. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I thought you were good at this game for a while. I thought I was, too. Check. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Uh, he won't trade. I know that. No, I won't. <laughs> I'm so screwed. <laughs> Good. Good. Uh, all right, I'm, I'm going to attack. Oh, that would be bad. Yeah, that would be bad. Check. God damn it. Um, fuck. All right. <laughs> Check. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, man. If you... Okay, all right, okay, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of this. Check. I don't want to alarm you, Hutch, but you're running out of time. Check. <laughs> I only have a minute on this one? <laughs> Let's uh, get out of here. What, I'm ch in check again? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's picking me apart. Um, okay. How do you defeat him? Like that one particular piece. I'm just too... I did... I... This is so... He, his queen is single-handedly annihilating my entire army. This All is right. so difficult. I can't God, even do I gotta this. get my head in the game. I really gotta get my head. Uh, we're gonna go... Go here... Okay. Okay. Oh, that'll put me in check. Um, you can't give me the time limit on this one. Damn it. Um, I'll take it. Didn't see that. <laughs> Didn't see that. Nairs, come on. A little support. A little support never hurt any. Oh. Uh, he's fucking with my plans now. Okay. Check. Oh man. Oh, is this is this good? No, it's not gonna be it. It's not gonna be it. I'm not going out like that. Look at look at it, the look at the glare on his in his eyes. Like a, just a furious autistic kid. I can't believe I beat right. you with these ridiculous parameters right. you've placed on me. Alright, I gotta chase you now. Oh no, what have I done? Check. Don't tell Is it, me. Oh god. No, no, I only have one move. Mate. <laughs> Wait. I just beat him. <laughs> Magnetic. <laughs> uh, good job, man. That's impressive. I'm gonna let you guys shoot the outro.
Avery Magnuson Nanners. What? Come on. <laughs> yeah, Come yeah, on. Who picked these questions? Uh, Avery uh, Magnuson uh, Nanners asks, why are you guys so sexy? Why don't you tell us, Avery? Do you hear that? Do you hear a sound that sounds like a uh, turbine? Wood? Yeah, like is a, that coming up? Yeah. Like a jet Gee, engine. I wonder where that is. I wonder where that's coming from. Let's just start the next kill again. Ready? Oh, he's hiding. Never mind. Take that back. Oh, there you are. Hey. I mean, it's fun and games, okay, right? I can't again. complain about my job. But fuck, I wish these two would die in real life. Get cancer, Hutch. Yeah, you're really, uh, ah, really... Boom! Wow. Do I have cider on me? Yeah. 15 day Modern Warfare 3 live stream's over. We love you live stream. Three, two, one, go! Adam Compton asks... I'm gonna think about that. I might come back to that one, mm -hmm. Tyler. What would your professional Did wrestling name? What, what would be your professional wrestling names? Mm. I might be uh, Uncle Grabby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. You'd be the wrestler that no other wrestler wants to work with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit, I got a fucking tag team match with Uncle Grabby. Tonight. You should be like a general, general inappropriate. That's so right. it's like generally inappropriate, but it'd be general inappropriate. Right. What would yeah. you? I'm gonna touch you where your swimsuit covers. <laughs> ah! Next question, what would you do for a Klondike bar? Kill the entire human race. No, you got me beat, man. Yeah. I'd drop a couple bucks on the counter, maybe. I don't know. He wants to know, what kind of Pokemon name would you have? Uh, Rapazard. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> I'm we, dead serious. We are, I was dead, I was just gonna say that. Girl. See, Nanners and I menstruate at the same time, too. Yeah. Yep. Blood comes out of our ass holes. Sorry if you're a female and you watch Respawn. There's no females that watch Respawn. I did my, I went on my YouTube analytics, there's 7% of my audience is female. That's pretty good. 7%. 100% of my audience is gay. <laughs> yeah? Rami Chavez asks, Sark, will you lick Hollywood? Yeah. Meet me at the ice cream truck. I'll buy you an ice cream. That's you, buddy boy. You're the ice cream. This is the last thing a lot of kids, <laughs> a lot of kids see. This is the last image a lot of children see. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> and then it's like. <laughs> All right. Nicholas Chase wants to know: Do all you guys have ADD, attention deficit disorder? Uh, what was the question? <laughs> I already don't care. <laughs> Moving on. Petey Allen asks, if you could chill with anyone for the rest of your life, who would it be and why? Chill with anyone for the rest of your life. I'd like to chill with uh, Ridley Scott, John Woo, maybe Michael Bay even. Maybe. Although that probably wouldn't be very chill, but it'd probably be just like, hey, come on in, we're just chilling out. And you just go into a room filled with like burning whores covered in cocaine. And what? Him just I spaced out and I came back to burning whores. <laughs> And that's your answer, Nanners. <laughs> Josh Fletcher wants to know, would you take a 12 inch, 12 inch up, 
<laughs> you pick the questions, it's obvious. <laughs> Up the ass for everything or anyone you ever wanted. I don't understand the question. How, no, 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 no. The better question is how, how thick around is it? How thick around is That's it? The circ we'll say a five inches of circumference. Nothing too overbearing. Still. I'm going to say, yeah, hell yeah. Why not? What, and what for are everything you've ever wanted. Everything. You take a shot in the ass for everything you've ever wanted. Hell yeah. You can, uh, yeah. I guess. What's the duration? Is it a, is it a we'll lengthy say five minutes. Is it a lengthy Five process? minutes of vigorous fucking... Yeah? Yeah. Who's having oh, sex with Oh, 12 me? inches is the dick. Yeah, it's a oh. penis. Yep. Yeah. You gotta be careful though, because then you get another Mr. Hand situation on your. <laughs> oh, don't even do that. <laughs> don't even do that. Too much, too much. <laughs> <laughs> Did he come? Do not fucking research that. <laughs> it's like the ring. Don't ever watch it. Now, of course, we just traumatize like fucking 50,000 people I'm who are so never going to watch it. Yeah. yeah. There you go. This one's for me? That's, that's for you, sir. Happy you. birthday, it says. Well, well, you got the wrapping paper, sort of. so. That's true. Yeah. Well, it's Jesus' it's a good, it's birthday, right? It's a good fire, by the way. Really digital. It is Jesus' birthday, and I'm glad you mentioned that, too. Yeah? yeah. Think about that when you unravel my present. Oh, what's that? Oh, yes. So a nice little snuggie to keep you warm while you read. Are you the Holy shitting Bible. me? <laughs> huh? You got me a fucking Bible? <laughs> I figured in the spirit. What are you laughing at, man? At least you didn't get socks. At least I got a snuggie. You got a yeah. snuggie, man. I got while a you're snuggie. reading that Bible, you'll Now nice people will not know where you are because it's camouflage. You know what? I'll take it. Thanks, man. I'll take it. Thank you. Happy holidays, you guys. It's the first day after Christmas. First day of vacation officially, which is the only reason I'm up this fucking early in the morning. Because it's vacation. I can do mornings on vacations because I have so much vacationing to do. Let's do this thing. Snow day! Say hi to the audience, Miles. Say hi to the audience. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. We're having a great day together. Aren't we, Miles? <laughs> no. Whee! So fun. So fun to be my pet. <coughs> what? I know. We should go to Six Flags together. Okay. All right. Calm down. you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. 
and a happy new year. Connor Shirsey wants to ask if you had to. That's like a, uh, that's what a, that's what a retard says he is after he climbs out of the desert. <laughs> I'm so shushed. <laughs> Oh, that was a reach. It took me a It's fucking holiday out. time, you know? <clears throat> Is it douchey? Do I look like Chris Lockey? Where are my shades? Like, no. Uh, what pers- about with the blazer? Do you guys like my blazer? I like the blazer. I think it's a solid look, man. Yeah, the nerd machine ties it like... together, though. Yeah. Hey. Talk about, no, like, wait, Let hey. me try some pickup no, lines no, on no, the like audience, okay? Hey. Hey, you like video games? That's cool. I'm really good at them. What a fuck. In D&D rules, I have a 19 out of 20 percent chance of sticking it in your shape. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Hey, what's your fake baby? What? <laughs> oh. Hmm. I like it. That could be your pussy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> come on, man. Uh, all right, all right, we're done. <laughs> Have you ever hit the back of a vagina with your dick? I have. And they're like, ah. and you're like, yeah. yeah. Dick punched your guts, whore. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for the most offensive question that we've asked today from Tom Powell. He would like to know, would would terminate your ba- unborn baby if it had an illness such as Down syndrome? Oh, Jesus Christ, Sark. Perfectly legitimate question. Thanks, Tom. People gotta make decisions, man. Are you gonna abort your retarded fetus or what? I'm not gonna abort my retarded fetus. I mean, nobody aborted you, so that's cool. Oh, snap. (laughs) Christopher Middlestat wants to ask, do Asian people cry when you freeze them? Yeah. Not so far, actually. Not that I've found. Now, I know like 12 people isn't exactly like a huge slice of a race as large as Asian, but uh, I haven't found crying to be a symptom of freezing to death at all, so far. You're fucking weird. I'll keep you guys posted, though. You should, we should get to the bottom and someone should be waiting for the elevator and then just press 29. Yeah. And just stare Quickly. down. Watch. Here we go. Let's just stare down. I'm gonna vlog. Gonna I'm gonna vlog while we do this. Let's see what happens when they see the camera. Act I'm natural. gonna just tap 29. Okay? Go yeah, ahead. we got this. I hope it's an old woman. Oh. Hey! Oh. Come on in! Yeah, come on in! <laughs> Safe. Just mm. making a snuff film, that's mm. all. <laughs> a what? And I'm on the freaking elevator with you? Yep. Uh, Don't worry. Like we won't do the murder part until after you're off the elevator. <laughs> oh man, it's been a long day. <laughs> yeah. You thought I was going to stop recording, didn't you? No, I'm glad no. that you did. Oh, sure, sure, We're sure, glad you joined us for this. Yeah, yeah that was awesome. I'm not sure I am. Have uh, uh, a good day. See you later. Bye. She was annoying. Doing a real moment right here. Uh-huh. Let's try to show them what we do when the video goes up. This is what we do. <laughs> Facebook it up! Facebook it up! Tweet Fit it out. Shit. Blast Tweet that, that shit. shit. Fitz- Wait, I didn't. Fuck. Do I look pretty? You didn't tell me you're going to be recording. This is how I smiled at my school pics. Because I thought teeth meant you're happy. I can see myself in your iPhone. God, I look good. I'd fuck me. <laughs> so, um, Brady Schultz asks, favorite porn category? Mm. Wow. Like, that's an easy How many question. categories are there? I thought there was only, like, missionary and mm. doggy style. <laughs> no, maybe on the Mormon porn sites. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Not on the ones that I think most people frequent. Mormon. Now there's a porn category. <laughs> you know, I had this Jeez. idea for a long time. Can I Bing run this by you? Hey. Um, <laughs> Wait. So I won't no, go, go down. No, go ahead. I won't act that out. You can. Yeah? I'm, all right. Hey, are you guys interested in a message about the importance of family? <laughs> are you home alone, by the way? Because you look fine. Mm, mm. What are you doing on Sunday? You want to go to the church? My dick. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you better get down and kneel to the Mormon gods. You fucking bitch. Oh my god, I believe. Baptize me in your jello. <laughs> Jack Gregory says if you could name your kid anything you want, what would you name him or her? Huh. Man. 
anything. Oh, no. You had a theory earlier. I did have a theory where I, I was thinking that um, as far as, I mean, not, I mean, I didn't have a theory. I haven't really been thinking about this until just now. But there's, there's this thing where if you have a girl, you know, I think you'd be very protective. So you'd want to give her a name that would just repel the bros away. So I was thinking mm. something old school, like an old school grandmotherly name, like Grendel or something. <laughs> I mean, it would be mean because you'd be doing it to your kid, but it'd be for the greater good. That's funny that that's the first thing you think of. Grendel. The first thing I think of is I want to name my boy yeah. something that is just like full on, uh, like, uh, unconsenting sex <laughs> offender guy. There are name categories like for Lance, li yeah, like Lance Nut Thrust, or, <laughs> or something. <laughs> and he just would slay the Grendels and the the Jemimas of this. See, no, the, but my no, but my theory would be he wouldn't be going after the Grendels or the Jemimas. He'd be oh, going yeah. for like the Sadies and the Cadillacs. No. Literally cut a swath through the through wow. the females in the school. If your yeah. son ever touches my daughter, there be problems. Oh. There will. Well, in the form of a fucking slew of babies. <laughs> Next question, Robert Wang Longboat. Robert Wang, that, okay, can we, there's no way that that guy's name is actually Robert See, Wang See, this Longboat. is more along the lines of like no, my no uh, my molester son. Yeah. yeah. I'm going like, <laughs> I'm going back to Jack Gregory's question. I might name my kid something along the lines of Wang Longboat. I mean, that is. <laughs> Wang Longboat. That is clever, slinger. I give it to you. Just the thought of another man's semen touching my dick is enough to literally make it go inside of me forever. Yeah, yeah, crawl back up. Invert. And pull my balls in after it with two little like, <laughs> it's just like the whole thing just turns into like a second front butthole. Um, my f <laughs> Kieran Bowley asks, or Bowley, how is this asinine pile of putrid turd funded? Like who gives their money to idiots that are such a wasted excuse for human beings? Mm. Mm, wow. Mm, yeah. Well, I think on this one, I think I'm just gonna take the high road, Kieran, and not even respond. He's talking. To, he's talking about us. I think he's talking about the show, like mad shit. About us, yeah. Mad internet shit. What do you? Um, are you all right, everybody? What do you? Are you okay? I mean, I'm good to take the high road. What do you? Do you have anything to say to that, or? I wish I could take the high road with you. Yeah. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna level with you, Kieran. Yeah. You're a fucking piece of shit. You should think before you type, bitch. I'm gonna come through your TV like fucking Ghost Dad starring Bill Cosby, and I'm gonna choke you to death. I'm gonna wrap my dick around your neck, and I'm gonna hang you. And when they find you, they're gonna be like, whose dick is this around his neck? And it's gonna be like, I'm mine. It's my dick, Karen. You're hanging by the neck until dead by my dick. Fuck you. I'm gonna find your mom, and I'm gonna make her jealous with the shit I do to your dad. That's how awful it's gonna get. I'm gonna bend your dad over. I'm gonna treat his asshole like a vagina. Spread that shit open, butter it up with some canola oil, one of the ingredients of spotted dick, and then I'm gonna throw my non-spotted dick right into his brown fucking starfish. And your dad's gonna be like, don't watch, son. And I'm gonna be like, Karen, if you take your eyes off him, I'm gonna fucking run, I'm gonna split him up his spine, I'm gonna fillet him like a fish with my Ginsu cock. I just want to formally apologize. Uh, I am aware that I blacked out a moment ago. Yeah. And usually when I recover from a little, uh, you know, one of my episodes, I know that something bad has gone down. Mm -hmm. So, sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Kieran, uh, I do appreciate your uh, criticism. I'm sure your question is what set me off. Yeah. Uh, I would like to thank you, however, for the question, the comment, the view, and in a tiny way, uh, thank you for a donation to this asinine pile of putrid turd. You fuck. You stupid fucking asshole. I've seen Sorry, Jim. No, sorry. When you can write coherently, get back to us, you fucking idiot. Yeah. You're Why dumb. don't you go suck a big gay dick? Uh, with your, your maybe mouth your, part. Your, your mouth homophobic loins. homophobic fuck. Suck that dick. <laughs> Take it down. <laughs> Why don't you suck a dick? Why don't you suck a dick with your butthole, Jim? Maybe look. Try that. <laughs> maybe try that. And here's how you do that, in case you're wondering. You get a... a you get a frosty from Wendy's, <laughs> and you have somebody put their dick in your butthole, and then you take a big, hard suck on the frosty, and it creates suction out of your butt. All right? And then you can milk that dick with your anus. <laughs> Next question. Oh, Robinson wants to know which one we'd like better, Zombie Hill or Zombie Bin Laden? Zombie Bin Laden! Bin Laden. Kill that fuck! Kill him! Yeah. Kill him! Yeah. America! Fuck yeah! 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 yeah. 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 Come back! <laughs> We're gonna kill 
kill him again! A moment of silence for the Twin Towers. Without laughing at this time. You can't just... You're laughing at the Twin Towers? I'm oh, laughing at the Twin Towers! You can't change that fast. Pinko commie fuck. And finally, Travis Johansson rounds things up with Sark or APL? Question mark. Ayrton Underwood, who wins in a game of penis, take consecutive turns saying the word penis, getting louder and louder in the office. Uh... <laughs> Next question, I win. <laughs> Cody James Hamer. Sark, what's your take on this so-called zombie apocalypse? The key to surviving the zombie apocalypse is going straight to the end of the evolution of survival, right? It starts off, things are shitty, oh no, we're eating less and we're rationing food and oh my god, now we're being careful of other survivors and oh, we had to eat the fucking cat. Oh, man, man. Pretty soon you're at the end, right? I snap right to the fucking end. The second we even have a brownout, if a circuit breaker trips in my apartment, cannibalism. You just cut to the fucking end. That's how you survive. The as soon as eater. I heard about the first bath salt incident, yeah. I ate my neighbor. <laughs> and she was disgusting, too. Did not take care of her body. It was mostly folded, folded, spotted skin. <laughs> but that's how you survive. Pro tip. This looks like we got a letter from. Yeah. Who? I tore it in half here. Is that I? Uh, I'm M. I'm M. Brown. It says I'm Brown. It says I'm Brown. I. I'm glad that, the mailman bailed before we read that. <laughs> yeah. That could have gotten real nasty. Um, it says I'm Brown. I mean, is he's I'm from, a name? He's from, he's from SoCal, so maybe okay. he's uh, maybe he's from the you know the Latino persuasion. Is I'm a Latino? This name? is for La Raza. Boom. 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 I bet he's yeah. listening to that right now. I bet I'm Brown's listening to that <laughs> shit. All right, well, he's Brown. Yeah, that's good. Not oh, you're not here anymore. Should we read the note? Yeah. So first wanna... off, mm. let's put here. I'll let you stack this. Okay, stuff sweet. Here. Look at this stuff. It's got a nice uh, little bracelet that says "Go Do you Bikes want in on, on it. some of this? No, you go ahead with that soup. It's literally like a refreshing cold beverage at this point. We got a little uh, mm. little laser gun. Oh, oh. oh All oh, right, oh. here we go. Yeah, well, let's break down. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll read Sorry, it right with it. Here we yeah. go. On a sticky Basket. pad. <clears throat> Should I do like Oh, a yeah, he is. Okay, accent? Amigo, he is from the Latin community. Okay, it makes okay. sense. Yeah, you're right. You're right. All right, so I'll do like a brown accent. Uh, like a La Raza accent. Sure. Right? Yeah. I just want to. Yeah, you want it to be authentic. I want it to be I wanna, authentic. I want to feel right. like he's reading it to me, so go ahead and do that, please. Hey, Machina Marispawn dudes. My name is Ian. Ian! He did write it. Oh, it, Ian Brown. It looked like I'm Brown. <clears throat> Shit. How do we make every? We're it just misunderstood. Like fucking I'm if Brown. you guys saw what it looked, it looked like I'm Brown, not Ian. So that we. All right, I'm gonna sort of take that over again then, without the racism. Jason Martinez says, if Sea Nanners got bit in the ass by a venomous snake, would you suck the venom out? I'd do it. I'd take the bull. I would do it for probably anyone. I'd pass. Good, nice knowing you. Wow. No? Yeah. Just no. Nah. Yeah, I mean, I love really? the dude, but. Yeah. Sorry, man. Okay. Well, St. Anders, I would suck your ass off. Your... <laughs> I, would... <laughs> I would suck your ass if there was venom. Did you say you... <laughs> I almost the said The poison's asshole. not going to come out of his asshole, buddy. <laughs> it sounds like you're really capitalizing. Like, finally, this is my chance. Oh, my God. I finally get to suck the I asshole to... of a YouTube star <laughs> one day. I get to film. All right, I planted I get to the snake. snake. My hero. I planted the snake. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just wanted a piece. Seeing airs. My bad. Oh man. Maybe your dick was the venomous snake that bit him in the ass. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you in the butt and then suck your butt hole. <laughs> Alex Kazmierski asks, How often do you shave downstairs? I'm assuming he means our penis and balls. Mm. Testicles. Penis mm -hmm. and testicles. Dick and balls. Um. Yeah. What about you? Uh, probably, uh... I'm sure that's on the forefront of everyone's mind. 
Yeah. Well, there's a few, I mean, yeah, probably uh, every two weeks. What about you, APL? Judging by your chin, mm. I'm going to guess <laughs> once every never. Yeah. Not ever. <laughs> no, not never ever. No? Let me, let me give you guys a pro tip. Yeah. God, I'm going to choke on the bread. <laughs> if you like... Uh, beeges. Yeah. Well, then you should clearly. shave all the little heeges. The sh <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna kick things off. Yep, let's do uh, it. On a high note, first question, Luke Hyde. Why is Sark gay? <laughs> That's a high note. I, dude, I'm, I, everything is against us right now. We're trying to get high energy. I need some carbs. Yeah, go for the carbs. Well, Luke, this is, this is for you, not me. I can't answer. It's a simple answer. In the pre-existence, when we were all just spirit children of our Lord and Savior, Jesus and God, I must have done something wrong. Pissed them off, they sent me down here loving dudes. That's it? Yeah. That's, that's my theory. So, I don't believe in reincarnation or something. Maybe I was like, uh, maybe I was a fucking dickhead in some previous life, so I came back as a homosexual. So all gays are... It's like a punishment? Absolutely. I'm just drawn, okay. Absolutely. All right. Just wanted to clarify. Let's go to the next one. Uh, Simon uh, Kintoski Loth. Uh, Kinta I don't know, whatever. H I don't give a fuck. How low can you go? I don't if Does that's, he mean like a limbo? Limbo or do Is that a limbo you question? Like this, you know what? Because Is everything more annoying when this you're guy tired? It is. Yeah. And when you've got like a wad of Yeah, bread in your mouth. Sacrament bread stuck in your mouth. Thanks. Jesus. Did you know that's where our mail comes from? From Jesus. Jesus. Hmm. Yeah. It would explain a lot. <laughs> you are you? I'm seriously, it's stuck in my mouth. Okay, well, do you want to get some water? You getting the indigestion shit going oh, on? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to work through it. <laughs> Let's get the <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, now I'm, now I'm salivating. <laughs> I'm about to yeah. throw up, I think. Oh my god, please don't. Um, let's see. We didn't answer well, who how did we low... just ask? It's Simon. How low can you go? Uh, let's do, I don't feel like doing limbo right now. No. What do you want to do? Let's do voice pitch. I know you're going to win this one. Ooh. All right. All right. Actually, no. How low can you go without going into a motorboat? Like, uh, 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 okay. So you want to start? Do we start at normal? You want to start at the same levels and then work our way down? Or just... Yeah. So. All right. Ready? We'll start it. Sir. Uh, Hit the bread right there. <laughs> All right, well that's fine. Let's. Uh, Dylan Gates, do your mothers know you do this for a living? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. My mom's awesome. Yeah. She stopped watching though. Yeah. She stopped watching during the Frag Cup one during the episode when I, I said that I would rape my mom for five thousand dollars for the purse. She was like, I don't. I love you, but. I can't watch. I'm just not gonna watch this anymore. And I was like, okay. Is that an awkward conversation for you? No? <laughs> nah, she's awesome. Yeah, uh, my mom, yeah, she's my mom kinda knows. Too. Yeah, I think so. Actually, she's a gilf now. Grandma? Like yeah, because my brother had a baby. The more you know. I still love, I still love me some St. Anders and I love me some Hutch. Right? Yeah, no, absolutely. I, this is a tough, I, I know it's a rough day. We're all still bros. There, there's no judgment here. But fucking quit bugging us about St. Anders and Hutch. Jesus fucking Christ on a fucking crutch. Okay? What do you got in the box? Uh, we, <clears throat> in the box we have uh, some couple of things, a couple of things, I'm sorry. Uh, for, okay, they're kind of all labeled. All right. Uh, so, I don't peek. I don't listen peek. to me first. Okay. Unlock, oh. turn on, plug in. There's some, there's some instructions for this. This looks like uh, a, a Walkman, an old school. This is already making me feel bad. Yeah, this is good. Someone's sending us some tunes. Oh God, this pocket knife is. All right, I got it. I got it. We don't yeah? need a computer. Yeah. He, he gave us the whole, the whole little package here. Okay. So All I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna play the CD like he said. Yeah. Let me. We'll, we'll use my mic. mic. We'll use okay. my mic. All right, All right here. I'm gonna. Right, I'm feeling better again. Cool, cool. I'm gonna hit play, and we're gonna listen to what this gentleman has to say. Dear Machinima Respawn, may I first start by introducing myself. My name is George G. Crickmore Esquire. 
a one-time correspondent to Inbox, in that it was I who sent along the tea previously, which you made incorrectly by the way, but that's neither here nor there. Please excuse the use of this modicum of technology. Unfortunately, the Royal Mail slash Post Office don't allow letters to be sent along with parcels, which I got a bollocking for last time, so I've turned to technology to solve my problem. Hopefully you have not opened your parcels yet, as I would like to introduce each for you first. The top long and narrow parcel is for Mr. APL Fisher. It contains something that should hopefully help him perform his inbox duty. The bottom wide and thin parcel is both my way of an apology to Mr. Sark for not sending him one of these along last time, and something that I hope you should find helpful in your role as mail workers in the United States of America. The middle parcel, however, is a personal belonging of mine that I feel I should pass on to Mr. Sark to help him over some, note some, of his issues. This item is both sentimentally and financially valuable to me, so please don't break it. I should also like to dare Mr. Sark to sleep with said item on his bedside table and post any pictures of it there to prove his manhood. The game is afoot, sir. I should finish my digital letter by offering each of you a place to stay and a good night out should you find yourself in my neck of the woods. My regards, George G. Crickmore, Esquire. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah that All was right. that was great. Let's start at the I, beginning. Um, yeah, so real quick, there was a lot in there. Uh, summarize, we should summarize that. Best probably. package ever. It is a great package. She sent us the tea, if you remember a little bit back. Yep. He referenced that. We didn't uh, make the tea right. We didn't make it right. He pointed that Sorry. out, but that's, do, that uh, happens. Let's do whatever George um, Esquire wants to do. Yeah. Okay. Well, and he also, he did kind of, I feel like he kind of took a few shots at you with underlying issues and just a few. There was, I yeah, mean, no, no, no. nothing I'm to get fine. upset I'm about, fine. of course. No, okay. I've got issues. All right. That's fine. Clearly. Right? You want to open no, your? Uh, uh, yeah, open my long first? package. Okay. I think this is the one he was referring to. That's for me. So let's uh, let's get into this. Thing. Wow, he even there's twine. He used twine. Where do you even buy twine? The UK. I I'm scared to open it. Oh, okay. Wow. That's exactly what we need for today. That is perfect. Carbon fiber letter opener. That is George legit. Esquire. George, you are a treat. Thank Boom. you very much. And it comes in its like sweet case. That's awesome. Holy wow, shit. well, I'm happy with my gift. All right, that was my fantastic, turn. yeah. Go for yours. Parcel number two yeah, for here, Mr. You want, Sark. You want the knife? Yep, just be. Don't worry, you're good. You and I are fine, man. Okay. Some other motherfuckers in this building know I want to push some shit in. I ain't fucking joking about that, man. Training day style. Yeah, I don't. Fucking twine. You ever had your shit pushed in? I have. Right? Training day, man. Yeah. Great movie. Netted Denzel and Oscar. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, no. Uh, what are you? <laughs> I don't oh, my God. <laughs> are you serious? I don't even want to look at it. Sark? I can get it away. Sark. APL. Sark. Oh, my God. I don't want to. I don't even <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, my God. I don't want to touch it. Oh, <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> Dude, oh. I'm sorry. I'm the, just as terrified. Uh. I feel like it's gonna move. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn it. Holy shit. Oh. Can you guys see this? Oh, fuck. Fuck. Dude. He challenged you. So this let is what he was let me, I gotta to. touch it. Dude, I gotta touch it. The only way to. <laughs> got it. He literally creeps me out to touch it. Oh, I nearly threw up. I know. I'm not kidding. I nearly just threw up. No, I can tell, dude. Oh, what the fuck is that? That looks. Like, I don't know if that's a tarant. You're doing. Be, you're beating your be fear, strong. dude. This is like. This is getting over your arachnophobia a little bit. This is impressive. Oh fuck, man. Oh, the underside. It's terrifying. I mean, oh, if there's any I'm gonna reason. I'm going to throw up. I'm okay. Not, all right. All right, all right. Don't, don't throw up. Don't throw up. Don't throw up. <laughs> Please. All right, first question comes from Tyler Hanover. He asks, would you prank come on, prank? <laughs> would you would prank you, come? Would you prank come on someone? <laughs> That's not what he said at all. That's just what I was thinking about That's doing That's pretty right good now, though. I would. Which is weird. I definitely would. Would you prank uh, call someone in yeah. the office right now? We're gonna answer both of those questions. Would I prank come on someone in the office right now? Uh, I don't know why I was thinking about that, but that implies that I would. Who would I prank come on? Hmm. Is that that? But that's oh. no. I'm just oh, so thinking, we're just gonna yeah. answer it. Yeah, yeah. Would I prank? No, I probably would never prank. That's like, 
That's one of those things where you will never, that's never gonna be taken well. Yeah. It doesn't matter who you do it to. Probably, like, probably what done. I'd do is I'd go in the bathroom and then I'd sort of do like a sideways pull up while someone was in there dropping a duke. And then it'll be, then I'd be, I'd jerk one out and just like sort of sprinkle it down on it like the mystery, the mystery rain. Yeah. And then sli silently like disappear and they'd be like, oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, is like there's something about Mary when he does it, yeah. when she takes it for the hair gel. All right, but the real question Tyler wanted to know is would we prank call someone in the office right now? Oh, yeah. And uh, I think we can do that. Uh, we should probably, let's call their office, their their desk number. That right. way it doesn't. It won't like, show up with yourself. Yeah, so we'll be good. let's call, um, let's call Swing One. Oh, okay, I have a yeah, good, yeah, idea, have a okay. good idea for him because he just got some fraudulent charges on his credit card, so okay. we can play on that. All right. Very nice. Juan Rodriguez is in a meeting. Please leave a message at the tone. When finished, you may hang up or press pound for additional options. Hello, this is Juan Rodriguez. Can you please leave a message at the tone? When finished, you may hang up or press pound for additional options. Go fuck yourself. We need somebody else to prank. All right, let's try Lester then. Yes. Well, let's Lester, do Lester, I don't think Lester has my phone number, so I don't think I so. hope not. He Unless may. He went, uh, well, all right, here we go. We'll, we'll see what happens. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> All right, we need somebody else to prank. <laughs> All right, third time's a charm. Third time. Let's we try got this. Anthony, aka Shore Wars. All right, we're calling his work desks. So that way he won't get caller ID on us. So. Cool. Hello, this is Anthony. Hi, is this Anthony Rogers of Machinima.com? This is Nancy from Credit Services Protection. I was just calling, we have a couple unusual charges on your primary credit card. Wanted to run it by you. Sure, go ahead. Did you recently rent one gallon jugs? Seems to be an adult entertainment VHS tape. Uh, that does not sound right. No, I, don't, I did not buy that. All right, so that's $149 that we can check off our list. <laughs> okay, what else you got on the list? I'm getting a little worried here. Have you ever purchased a dildo? <laughs> For your asshole? <laughs> no, no, I haven't. I think you, uh, I should have another Anthony Rogers. Like, did you get the wrong Anthony Rogers? No, no, it's definitely you. <laughs> <laughs> this has you written all over it. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> Next question. Lucas Heffel, can you yell the word bubbles angrily? Mm. Bubbles! Bubbles! Yes. Wow. Bubbles. Yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> I am going to. Oh, look at this. This is nice. It's yeah. a nice letter from a fan. Uh, looks oh, okay. like his name yeah. is Scotty. Oh, good name. Good, nothing, good, nothing good but breed. good feelings from this guy, right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> what? Oh, don't think I didn't see that before, Scotty. <laughs> don't think I didn't notice that as soon as it popped into our so mail like basement penis. here. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Brian, thanks for coming on, little five, baby. Ha! <laughs> APL? Yeah. Uh, that was gay. Top Hat wants to know if we'd rather top half human or a bottom half human of a mermaid if we're on an island by ourselves. Top, top half, half, absolutely. Yeah, totally. yep. Just use your mouth and boobies. Oh, I see where you're going with that. Yeah, so we're now not. you're not like no. fishy vagina down oh. and that. No. no, 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 no. Definitely not bottom half, because then you've got a nice pair of stems and the, you know, the, all the, the machinery down there, but then you're bone, it looks like you're boning a giant, <laughs> like trout, like a big, Oh uh, my there's god. Something to that too. No, like there's definitely big, nothing to that. A life-size fish gasping for air on your dick. That could be the best beach you've ever had. Next question, Adam Haig. 
Can you guys swap phones with each other and send a message to anyone in the other person's phone book, then read it out? Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's some high stakes. Right, uh, um, fortunately for me, I think my phone's dead, uh, which would be convenient. Oh, yes. Dang, same one. Same here. Oh, nope. Oh, there you go. You get a, you get a close up of the. Uh... Yeah, same So it looks like only I can do it on your phone. Yeah, look at that. No, oh, yeah. It's totally dead. Totally gone. Weird. Yeah, that's. Oh, go ahead and fix it. APL uh, just texted Mrs. Sark, my wife. This Have is you? what this is what he said. Hey, honey, this is hard for me to tell you, but I'm a homosexual. <laughs> Send. I'm gonna turn my ringer up. I'm waiting for a response. Let's see how that goes. All right, Curtis Haberman wants to know if there one day died, how would died if you didn't? Uh, oh, that's really that's, that's it, huh? That, I is don't, that a meme? Is that a Reddit I honestly thing? Don't, You're on Reddit. I, I'm I'm on Reddit. Oh, it's the misses. I knew it. That's all she said. <laughs> God damn it! Well, you know. I would have expected a little more supportive of a, uh, or actually God outrage or shock. But you know how she knew it? How did she know? Because I kiss. fuck her like a man. Uh, <laughs> like she was, a, I fuck her like she was a man. Like it's like it's what, it, like hard. You know what I mean? Like you're not, you don't treat her like a porcelain princess. You fuck her like she's a dude. That's what I do. <laughs> well, great. That's the end of my heterosexual love life but just the beginning of my homosexual fairy tale that I'm gonna write with somebody. I'm gonna start with your balls. I know you're not gay, so that's gonna be tough, but you're gonna be asleep one day, and I'm gonna slide in under your covers like a fucking, some paranormal entity. <laughs> I'm gonna motorboat your nutsack. Uh, and you know what? I bet you anything, you'll get hard. Oh my god. <laughs> Owen Lagerstrom wants to know Kit Kat or dick? Kit Kat. Dick. Cause a Kit Kat's not gonna jizz in your mouth. <laughs> oh, let's do another one. Okay, let's do another one. All right, all right. ready? Yep. Kit Kat. Dick, cause at least you. <laughs> Kit Kat. Dick, cause at least there's a chance you won't get AIDS from a dick. Kit Kat. Dick, cause a Kit Kat doesn't know what men like. What a man wants. I'll go one more time. Kit Kat. Dick, cause Kit Kats aren't chewy. Dad, because it reminds me of my dad. <laughs> Kit Kat, because you can get Kit Kat at any 7-Eleven. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Time. Uh, uh, Samia, Samaya, Samia, Hussein. Hmm. How old are you guys? Answer the damn question this time. Sark spoilt my question over a year ago by just hmm. commenting on my surname, Hussein. Go figure. I would never do that. I'm over that though, bitch. You know what? I deserve that. Yeah? I deserve that. You're yeah. gonna take your lumps on this? Um, how old are we? I am, let's see, 954 fortnights. Hmm. Yeah, I'm celebrating my wow. 955th fortnight in just a few days. That's gonna be great. Yeah. Many well want to know if we want unlimited bacon and no video games or unlimited video games and no video games. I don't understand what this question at all. Mean? If it's they no bacon, games, there's bacon it's games and, and no, no games. games. Yeah. Did you mean games <laughs> and no bacon? Are we willing to sack oh. bacon for our video games? Is right. that what you mean? Yeah, what was this guy's name? Right. What's Matt, who is Matt? This? Come on, Matt. Yeah. Oh, proofread this shit. Uh, so. I'm gonna go with bacon and no video games, because at least at the end of that scenario, I've got fucking bacon! Yeah. I've got something. If I go with video games and no video games, then I just gave up everything I earned by answering your weird, what kind of retarded genie would have come out of this lamp? Uh, yeah, it's a fucking, it's an amorphous blob. You have wakened, you have wakened me from an endless slumber. I grant you one wish. Would you like endless bacon, but no more games? Or would you like Games, unlimited games, and no games. <laughs> what would you want? <laughs> you fucking idiot! Take the bacon. At least, no, you, yeah, just take idiot. the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I failed genie school. All right, hold on. So maybe, maybe he means. What would you rather have, bacon? Fuck. Oh fuck me! You know what I'm doing on this episode? Mm -hmm. What? 
dropping the. I'm hanging up on it. Hang yeah. up. All right. Watch. It's actually like a. It's probably super. It's deep. actually a downy though that wrote that. <laughs> Matt is actually <laughs> afflicted with like. <laughs> I hope not. Multiple <laughs> sclerosis or something. I would feel bad. If no, we, we get a letter from the Make a Wish Foundation, I'm gonna be super bummed. Yeah. About that. Like yeah. His... Matt has no arms or legs. <laughs> and and his him. wish was that you would read this question. Yeah. And all you did was shit on him. Shit on him. He wrote it with his mouth. A quarter of his head was, was carved off when a logging truck rammed into his family car when he was young. Now all he's ever wanted to know is whether you'd like unlimited bacon. <laughs> ever since that day, all he's ever said is would you like unlimited bacon or video games? Or video games and no video games. And finally, <laughs> Finally, it got his question in front of a legitimate question answering outlet. That's right. And we just shit all over. We did. I feel bad now. Yep. Well, I hope that's not the case, Matt. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some, right? You lose your legs, apparently. Yeah. Or your arms. Have a nice rest of your life, you cripple. You crippled bastard. <laughs> Uh, next question comes in from Ricky Rob. Ricky Rob, that sounds like uh, what some incestuous uncle would be called. Like you have an uncle like, that's Ricky Rob. He, he fucks with the cousins, you know. Anyway. Best impression of Boris Johnston. Oi, oi, crikey. We got to lower these taxes. Oi. <laughs> what, <laughs> what the flying fuck? is up with the tax rate here in London. We've got to lower this. Vote yes on my new proposal. <laughs> Louis Deacon asked the deep probing question, would I rather give a blowjob to a hobo for one minute or like APL's beard for 10 minutes? I have to pick one or APL gets to slap me. Thanks Louis for the real shitty question. I better pick one or I'm gonna get slapped. Blow a hobo or lick APL's beard. You know what, I'm gonna turn this on its head, Louis. Okay, if I lick APL's beard, you know what APL's gonna be? He's gonna be bummed out, cause my spit's getting all up on his business and near his face, and I've got his hair in my teeth. So you know what? I'm gonna blow the hobo, cause at least then somebody's happy. Me. Fucking granola? Yeah, granola. <laughs> All right, get him. Uh, we need to. Grew up on the hard streets of West Hollywood, buddy. Get cut by granola. Your nose. <laughs> I held up by some guy waving a piece of granola today. Fucked him up though. <laughs> <laughs> Ren Julius wants to know. Ren Julius, cool name. If you can make a how-to video, what would it be about? Can you show an example? Step one. The right lace is falsely accused of killing its wife. And it goes under into the prison. And then the left lace says, hey, fresh fish, tall silver spoon, you're my bitch now. And then the sisters chase him around. I mean, he digs his way out through the Rita Hayworth poster and he climbs out into the sewer and he holds, the left lace holds itself up into the rain and it says, I'm free. Josh Adams asks, what are your three best tips for impressing a girl for Valentine's? Uh, the first thing that came to mind, Josh, in. was, uh, was uh, get a penis pump. <laughs> yeah, so you're, you're, wow. you know, yeah. you're playing your A game when it's go time. That's good. Uh, I know from experience, Josh, that one of the things women admire most in men is uh, devotion, dedication. So, uh, I mean, the best way I can think of to show a woman that you're really into her is to, to email her pictures of her in the shower that you got through nefarious means, showing mm. not only how dedicated you are, but also that you have uh, stealth capabilities. <laughs> <laughs> Women love stealth. <laughs> Next question comes in from Cameron Nelson, who says, to Sark, if APL had a kidney problem, would you give him yours? I can survive with one kidney, right? Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No. I would uh, I would come in and visit you though. I'd bring you fucking poppers and Oreos and shit in the hospital. But uh, what if someone? What if all I could think about would be what if someday somebody who I actually cared about had a kidney problem? I need to have that kidney to give to them. 
I'm just gonna eat that man away. I'm not gonna let you fake eating that either. Fucking diet boy. Bottoms up, come on. Eat that shit. There we go. Swallow it. Why are you looking at me? Swallow that shit. You start. You, you started this shit, you're gonna finish it. You'll thank me in a minute. That was good. <laughs> I told you, good job. Gustav Ludwig's, uh, Ludwigsen says, I, you were to create a human centipede between Mondo, Hollywood, and Swing, who would you place where and why? Ludwigsen sent this question in between composing sonatas. <laughs> Harps, harpsichord <laughs> sonatas. I Should know. I start at the tail end or the head? Start the with the tail. Well, the front it? is the good side. Who's at the tail? This, this is very telling. Who's gonna be at the tail of this whole thing? Mondo's at the Oh shit! Wait, hold on! Hold on, Mondo! How do you feel about that, Mondo? Mondo yeah. Mondo's at the tail. Okay. And here's why. Alright. I have a good reason for everything. Eater. You know what? This this <laughs> oh. Please frame this in a positive light. Right. Th these were my reasons. This is how my brain works. Mondo's at the tail, because he's got a nice ass. Right? And you wanna <laughs> You want your, whatever, funny, moving on. Hollywood's in the middle because you need a strong core for your centipede. And that's like a big like thorax, abdomen combined. That's a core. Right? And then swings up front because he's a, he's a nutrition expert. So he can eat, he can, de he can decide what is best for the, for the rest of his new body. That's, <laughs> you can be like, that's no, good, too that's, many, yeah, that's too well many carbs. You're right. You're right. How you doing back there, Mondo? We just had too many cards. Uh, Hollywood, it, here's how it would probably work, is Hollywood would just be walking around with them hanging off of him. There's no, there's no crawling, he's just like, fuck this, I got places to go. Oh boy. Holy shit. Yeah. APL and Mr. Sark. APL, I've noticed you're getting slimmer. I want your skinny thighs framing my face as you sit and poo on my chest. Oh boy. Oh. Yeah, you should have visited on Valentine's because that was, uh, yeah. <laughs> APL's ass turned into Mount Krakatoa courtesy of some shitty chicken. Oh man, thank you, sir. Uh, one time when I had too much milk to drink and I pulled an all nighter, my stomach didn't cooperate, and after breakfast, I got diarrhea. Mm. As I was having sex with my wife, she was lying on the bed with. <laughs> with my penis by her mouth, and as I came, I can't read this. I pushed too hard. I secretly try to see how hard I can rocket my semen out, so as to hurt her bruise in the back of her throat. But I would never tell her that. And out of my butt, <laughs> willy nilly, came a fountain of slushy goodness. There was diarrhea all over my wife and my sheets. I paid a fortune for dry cleaning. Mr. Sark, sometimes when I'm kissing my wife, I think how much more enjoyable it would be if I had your fingers on my butt. All the best. Signed, Michael Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, Michael Bay's uh, a fucked up dude. Uh, ooh, this uh, handwriting. Get your next I'm one ready. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, this one's starting to look like the, a, a, a youngster, we'll just say. Mm. Uh, I love him young. What's up? It, what's up, Machinima? Ever since I saw your live streams, I was dedicated to play more Call of Duty. I wanted to ask you if you could level up my PS3 account. <laughs> If you could level up my PS3 account for Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> but if you can't, it's fine. <laughs> it would be awesome if you could get all the signatures of the machine of a team on one paper, or do separate signatures for each paper. <laughs> I really want Stark <laughs> and Cedars. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it has to be a troll. Uh, hopefully you can reply to this ASAP. <laughs> Cause that would be awful. <laughs> I can't oh, breathe, stop breathing. Uh, sincerely, a fellow fan of Machinima and COD. No name. I'm dead. Wow, I'm dead. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> just thanks for the letter. We're just gonna say thanks for the letter. 
Oh, oh wow. Now, APL, to tell the true story of Easter, yeah. you have to start a few days before Easter. Oh, okay. This is the evening of the Last Supper when Jesus, Joseph, Mary, the 12 disciples, mm -hmm. and we found, uh, you know, in more recent times, Leonardo da Vinci mm. all gathered around to have dinner. And they had wine and cheese, Gouda, apparently. Mm. Uh, and they discussed so the goings on in the ministry in the next few days. And mm -hmm. Jesus, this is when Jesus really dropped a bomb on his mm -hmm. uh, apostles. He said, listen, in a few days, I'm going to be killed. Mm -hmm. And Judas is going to betray me. And he pointed at Judas. And Judas was like, no, I'm not. And Jesus was like, yeah, you are. I'm the son of God. S shut up. And Judas was like, I'm sorry then. And Jesus, <laughs> and Jesus was like, it's okay. I forgive you. I always forgive everybody. So a few days later, Judas goes to the Romans. He's like, listen, Jesus needs to die. And the Romans were like, we agree. But what do the Pharisees think? And the Pharisees were like, yeah, we agree too, because he's different than us and his skin is lighter. So the Romans were like, okay. So they took him up on top of the hill and they nailed him to a cross next to two other men mm -hmm. who hadn't done anything. So three days later, Jesus was in his tomb and he was laying there and he was like, this is really boring but I need to get out of here. But everyone's gonna see me because I'm Jesus and people always go to people's uh, death places like Paul McCartney on, when, he, when he died and people visited his star on Hollywood Boulevard and they were like, they were burning flowers and they were burning candles and putting flowers. So Jesus is like, I need to disguise to get out of here. So he asked his dad, who is God, if he could help him. And God said, yeah, I'll give you a little disguise so you can get out of there. So he made Jesus black. <laughs> which also allowed Jesus to have the physical prowess to move the stone away from the front of the tomb. But as he stepped out, his skin color wasn't enough. And some of the people that were there were like, look, it's Jesus, but he's black. So God, being the quick thinking deity that he is, he decided to bless Jesus again with another disguise. And that was with a bunny. So Jesus turned into a little brown bunny and he hopped away and everyone was like, where'd Jesus go? And nobody knows. And to this very day, we celebrate Easter by eating little brown bunnies and the eggs that that little brown bunny supposedly laid in its wake for us to find to shed Christ's love on each other. And I would just like to finish with a quote from Psalms. Mm. And the bunny hoppeth, and the bunny hoppeth away. If the eggs are gray, eat them another day. <laughs> In the name of Brown Bunny, amen. All right, here we go. Oh, All right. God, why do I always get the letters written by the children? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. Dear Mr. Sarkin APL, greetings from your brothers up north, Canada. Uh. Okay. I didn't say it. He wrote that. Okay. Let's get, <laughs> let's get to the meat and potatoes of this letter. Would you rather ask your mom permission to masturbate <laughs> or have to talk to your mom while cranking it? <laughs> oh, my God. Wait. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, we hope you enjoy this letter and drive. We? How many children are this? We hope you enjoy this letter and drive because we travel two fortnights every two months to watch your videos, especially in box. What's spelled with a W? <laughs> this is it. Be this is because we have to travel by polar bear sleds. We love you guys, all homo. But seriously, thanks for reading, from Andy and Kyle. Oh, okay. All right. Well, look at that. Uh, Can you show okay, the so. <laughs> Well, no, there's a picture that will say everything about this. But first off, rather ask your mom permission to, mm. to jerk it, or would you rather talk to your mom while jerking it? I would rather ask permission. I don't want yeah. to jerk in front of my mom. I couldn't. No. And the conversation would be, yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, could you could you make another one of those loaves of bread, mom? <laughs> Nothing's better than your homemade bread. <laughs> All right, so, uh, so here we cool. have... Here we go. <laughs> All right, first off, first off, you take a look. All right, now everyone else can take a look. This will tell you what a little bit of <laughs> This is what we're dealing with. This is apparently Andy, Kyle, holding my hands. <laughs> what is uh, happening? How APL, old are they? APL's at the end. What? Wearing a Coheed and Cambria shirt. It, and it's written to scale, I guess, to emphasize your, your girth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, the breathe. Canadian flag hanging from the clouds. Whee! There's... Is that swing? Is that oh, swing shit. and a swing? It is. <laughs> nice. Yes. 
Uh, oh Mondo, God. Mondo is free falling <laughs> and screaming. <laughs> yep. And there's a floating bean there. So. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Why are you wearing cowboy boots <laughs> with stars on them? <laughs> no. I don't know. Oh wow. Wow, that's epic. That and then on the other worst. side, it looks like maybe a first draft that didn't quite make the. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like What's Santa that? having surprise butt sex <laughs> from a perspective of a young lad. <laughs> well then, secondly, I'm sending Mr. Sark a necklace. It is magical and it has the power to uh, ward away any ethnic or religious group you wanted to. Ethnic! <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, oh no, would you rather have oh, to no. kill 10 baby chicks with your penis alone or poop out a living, breathing, half black, half white conjoined twin? <laughs> Sincerely, Alejandro. <laughs> medallion of Alejandro, racist medallion. <laughs> medallion of racism and bigotry. Hear me now. Please repel from now until the end of time all Mongols for their slightly retarded look and their dirty feet, and their, and their equestrian <laughs> talents. Just freak me out. Thank you, thank you, Alejandro. That's what, that's what I want, that's, that's, that's what right. I want, okay? That's what you want. Support me on this. I, I'm with you. I'm, I hate Mongolians. <laughs> I can't wear this right now. Don't take it off. It's making you hate. Kick it off. Uh, <laughs> All right, Alejandro, thank you so much mm. for the racist and sort of bigoted uh, medallion. Yeah. I ask the Earth Mother within this necklace to protect me for the rest of my life against Jamaicans. <coughs> what? Why? What's wrong? I'm just really scared of Jamaicans. <laughs> Hey, all right. Hey, that's the first hate. It's, of... it's just on. It's honest. Dear Sark and APL, I have just finished watching Real Mail Bonanza and have decided to ask a few questions. I live in Scotland and was just wondering if you could take a guess at what the following Scottish words mean. Ah. Answers on the back. Okay, let's go down these real quick. Let's uh, right. first reaction. Right. First reaction is what they are. Uh, Ken, verb. That's the. That's uh, to describe a boy who plays with Barbies. That's what he's doing. Got he's it. Kenning. Weeshed. Weesh is the sound of your dick when you whip it around and uh, masturbating quickly. Uh, minjin, minjin, minjin. Minjin, adjective. yes, yes. Adjective? Yeah, adjective. Oh, I thought it was a noun. Mm. Oof, this, one's a, this one might have stumped me. Mm. Minjin is an adjective. Right. To uh, fuck, I have to dig deep. I think that that's when you go in, uh, is that when you... <laughs> go in. When you go in, Ming Mingan, yeah, Mingan. I totally know this. Mingan, M Mingan, that's when you uh, when you go in and you you're like, I want a haircut, uh -huh. uh, but you mean your pubes. That's a, <laughs> it's the act of asking for a haircut on your pubes. Okay, you're Mingan. Um. <laughs> it's How? rough. It doesn't happen very often. Gubbed adjective. Gubbed adjective. Gubbed. What is with adjectives? I don't, there's a lot of adjectives. Uh, gubbed is describing. Uh, it's a way of. It's a way of conveying. Quickly, how much corn there is in your turd. <laughs> Heavily gubbed. I gubbed big time. Look at the look at the gubbing on that one. Trust me, believe. Is that it? That's yeah, the, yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna look at the answers real quick and see if any of those you don't were really accurate. Need to. Nope, not one right. But you have your own, uh, I think, yeah. interpretation it's of how they speak. It's subjective. Um, You've never even been to Scotland, I bet. Who's this guy? He lives Jack Haggerty. He lives <laughs> obviously not Scottish. <laughs> Tell by his name, he's Jewish. <laughs> Three, if you had to murder someone, how would you do it? And how would you dispose of the body? I'm starting to run out of ideas. Just kidding, but seriously, though. Um, if I had to murder someone, how would I do it? Um, I'd walk up to him with a shotgun, wherever they happen to be. Okay. I'd blow their fucking head and upper torso off. And then I would dispose of the body by urinating on it and screaming YOLO. <laughs> Flipping the bird to any security cameras that happen to be looking at me. It's so fucked up. I'll flip my driver's license down on the corpse, <laughs> take a shit in its mouth, and walk off. That's. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, wow. Wow. The letter is written on cardboard. 
Uh, so this should be interesting. Uh, from Tall White Guy. Hey, Here, actually, you oh. sign it. I'm gonna read it. Okay, yep. all right. From Tall White Guy. Hey, APL Sark, what the fuck is up? I couldn't afford paper, so I had to tear apart my home to have something to write on. <laughs> There's money in the box, so I hope now you're both doing better. Is there money in the box? Let's let's confirm. This is important. I don't see any. Yeah. Oh, maybe at the bottom? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I can't sign this. I'm too. Uh, hold on. I'm going to sign this after. I get to focus on this. Oh, whoa. What the? Holy. 20? 20 bucks. 20 bucks. One. Thank Nine you. for you. What? Eleven. Wait, no, I get, there's one you more. You got two of the Canadian pennies earlier, so I'm. It's I'll, only do fair you want that the, I get one extra. Do you want the Canadian penny? Nope. I'll take. No, I'll no, trade. You're good. You're good. I'm gonna put this in my tin shoe Z package, and uh, we'll just call that good. Uh, I put APL's name first because his badassery is overlooked a lot of the times. Oh. APL, you're better than Hutch and Pussy Nad C Nanners at the whole machinima job. Fuck you, crack! He yells at this because he was having trouble writing around the crack. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking letter's the best. I just want you to know that. Anywho, Sark, you are full of some of the badass, baddest assery even possible of having because you have had 30 plus years to gather it. I do, on the other hand, have some questions. All right, what do you both think of the show? It's always sunny in Philadelphia. I love that show. It's one of the best things on television. I love it too. Yep, yeah. uh, Danny DeVito. Yes. He's a, he's a national treasure. Yes. <laughs> I think it's genius. Nick, that's his comment on it. Next. Oh is I think that 92.47% of the people that ask the questions on Inbox are from Uganda, Pakistan, Africa, or some of the other countries that nobody gives sick shits about. For instance, look at their names. Either of you can hardly pronounce them. It's fair. It's fair. You, I think you have a point. I think it's a lot of international question answers. It's fair, yeah. Yeah. In, in your own, yeah, in your own way, I think you're absolutely you're right. Of, yeah. yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it. P.S. Motherfucks, if you don't show, read this on an episode, then at least buy yourself some gas, drugs, whores. Or use <laughs> money to get whores to do tricks. <laughs> what? I'll what be sending even... boxes with money and the other cool shit once or twice a month. Keep up the funny shows. What? You're too, you, you are, you're, you're too cool, whites. <laughs> whites? He references our ethnicity. Thank you, sir. What was this? Did you? Oh, I didn't even open this. This is what the iPhone he sent 3G. Us a, he sent us an iPhone 3G, it looks like. Oh. What the fuck? No, what it's the... a fucking insect of some type. Oh, don't. Oh, don't. Is it dead? It's dead, right? I don't know. Put, throw it over there. Get it out. Get it out. Throw it over there. Throw it over there. Throw it over there. Throw it. Just get it out. Just get it out. Look at everyone. Everyone's running. And finally joining us, Hollywood, appropriately, since the question coming in here from Nikki the Hack is, can we do the rest of the show in blackface? Mm. Which is an interesting wow. and racist proposition. Yes. Very. Uh, I think Wood can. Yeah, definitely. Wood? Is this black enough for you, Nikki? You racist shit. Unbelievable, Wood. Can you believe the shit we do on this well, show? Will... It's crazy. You want him to chew on a watermelon next, mm. Nikki? Yeah. Is your dad a grand dragon in the KKK? Eat some fried chicken some from fried KFC. Fried chicken. Right in front of you. Some mm. grits. Is that what you want? Yeah. Is that what you want? A little. Do you think drink? Wood? Do you think Wood has a part-time job on a plantation, mm. picking that cotton for the white man? You racist. Probably do. You fuck. Oh, you want to see the tall black guy play basketball, mm. Nikki? Yeah. You racist shit. I hate you. I hate you. You want to put all the all the Africans back on their continent? That was the birthplace of humanity, you Nazi. You came from black people. Where do you think white people came from, yeah. Nikki? You need white to make black and black to make white, Nikki. At one point, some black dude just got out of the sun for a little while. That's Boom, right. Boom, white people. Yep. You owe a lot to the black man, Nikki. You're full of shit. Read a book, you illiterate honky, you cracker, you hillbilly fuck. How dare you? So racist. I'm, offen I'm, offended. I'm offended. I'm offended. I'm seriously offended. I'm offended by you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Is that enough randomness? Wow. Yeah. 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 
Here's Stark and APL. First off, you guys are absolutely hilarious. Second off, I think APL smells great. How do you, how do I know this? Because I hide in your attic with all your teddy bears that you haven't thrown away because you have grown an emotional bond with them. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I can, I can smell your sweet, sweet nectar seeping through the attic floor when I spend my time up there. If you don't have an attic, then I don't know whose house I'm in. <laughs> Hello, Sark and APL. Hey I, there. Oh, oh. Sorry. Oh no, this is so not good already. I love to write erotic fan fiction of all my current interests. However, my little pony, Anal is Magic, has become a bit repetitive and I need a new fling. Seeing as Machinima Team Respawn is my favorite channel on YouTube, I decided that I would adult you two. Yeah, thanks. With some erotic fan fiction, Team Respawn style. Oh no. Here is an excerpt from my upcoming piece. Please enjoy. Oh my god. I don't know if I can read this. It was you one want of... me to go? You want me no, to go? No, I got it. I got okay, it. All right. it was one of those hot summer nights, not so uncommon in West Hollywood. Most people in the office had already left, but Mr. Sark was sitting in front of a TV, just staring at the control in his, at the controller in his hand. APL walking by noticed Sark sitting all alone after hours and wondered what could be eating him up. Hey, buddy, says APL, you're still around. We are all we are all going to get some Thai food. Sark just nods a little and continues to stare off at the controller. Dude, you know I hate seeing you like this. What's been up with you lately? Sark cuts in. It's it's just that. Unable to put a voice to his pain, APL, seeing Sark's frustration, cuts in. It's the MLT Tomb Raider match we just lost, huh? Listen, Optic MLT had it out for you, and they were gunning for you. The fact you even made it alive, out alive as long as you did is just a testament to how great of an MLT player you are. You really think that, says Sark, looking up tentatively. I don't just think it, I know it, Expl exclaims APL. This is making me very uncomfortable. In fact, let me show you what your MLT playing means to me. I can't read anymore before Sark could even... I... no, 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 I'm done. Before Sark could even object, APL was kissing his neck. Sark's pants and shirts were unbuttoned in what seemed like seconds. He was amazed at how nimble and dexterous APL's chubby little fingers were. The kissing never ceased, it only became more and more no. intense. With each article of clothing removed, lower and lower the kisses sunk. Sark felt as though he was about to burst when he finally felt APL's neck beard on his inner thigh. Sark had never been blown so thoroughly. <laughs> he, had, he had felt as if his very essence became part of APL when he swallowed down that load. They were forever <laughs> intertwined. Sharing a moment like this was a once in a lifetime experience. Sark knew that this was not APL's first rodeo. He may have blown <laughs> dudes before, <laughs> but not like this. This was special. A blowjob only possible from friendship and a deep, deep love for MLT. Tomb Raider. I hope you guys enjoyed. Next time, swing face fox Bora. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, he, signs, <laughs> he signs it. I would never write my name here. This is disgusting and I'm ashamed. Oh boy. <laughs> George Custer says, why are you so stupid? Mm. Mm. Spelled well S-T-U-P-U-T. Well played. Yeah. And Custer has a little fucking, I don't know, what do you call that thing? A umlaut. An umlaut? Yep. Okay. Bet George didn't even know that shit. No. He's just used to typing it on a fucked up weird European keyboard. Why are you so stupid? That's just how you look, George thinks to himself as he pushes it and the extra dots appear. I'm gonna really um, sting them. Why are you so stupid? Uh, well, George, you might have picked the wrong day to drop that shit yeah, like God. it was hot. Oh boy. Um, right. yeah, first off, it. first off, George, all right. your very name. Uh, let's start with your parents, all right? Oh God. Your mom's on her back, she's got her feet up in the stirrups, the doctor's staring into her cavernous vagina as it stretches out over your little misshapen baby head. And the first thing they do when they plop you up, covered in her placenta and her fucking birth fluid and blood, and she looks down at you with your weird conical head, and, and she says, we're gonna name this baby George. Who names, who names their kids George these days? Custer? Custer? Is that, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Custer. Let me answer you. Fucking retards name their babies George. Is your dad named George? Probably, because his parents were probably fucking retards. You're probably a 10th generation retard. 
George. That's why, that's why you're sitting at your umlaut covered keyboard typing shit to us like, why are you so stupid? <laughs> Apologies, of course, if your name is George and you're a decent person because then uh, your parents weren't retards and you're probably all right. But if you're an idiot and your name's George, then your parents were definitely fucking Down syndrome mongoloid pieces of shit oh, that never should have bred because you know Down syndrome plus Down syndrome, it doesn't equal two Down syndromes, George. So let me just prove to you why now? I'm not so stupid. It's not two Down syndromes, it's Down syndrome squared. You are, you are your parents' retardation combined, multiplied, right? But the thing is, we've already proven that their parents were retards. So you're already, you're up to the eighth power of fucking Down syndrome. I'm oh, surprised shit. your heart even remembers to beat, you fucking idiot. I bet you have a walnut-shaped brain in your hip that's like, got to move the legs when we walk. Ugh, ugh. Going to do the refrigerator for the applesauce. I love the applesauce. Oh, oh, reach for the Oh, you, 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 you. Oh, so stupid. Stop it! How did he even manage, by the way, to do a non umlauted you? I don't. That? I don't know. I don't even know. And your last name's Custer. Custer. Well, that's how I'm gonna pronounce it. I don't know how the fuck you pronounce it, you stupid fuck. What are you named after? Are you named after a dessert? No, Custer. Are you Custer. named after the general Custer. who rode his troops oh. up a hill and was sur immediately surrounded by Native Americans and murdered mm. because he was an idiot? I bet you're in a fucking, uh, like how, how many generations is that? That's gotta be at least six. Yeah. Six, six stacked up on exponentially increasing mongoloid <laughs> fucking ape men fucking oh, each other yeah. and one day accidentally sticking it into a woman and then <laughs> you came out and you're like, and you gagged on your mom's juices. And you're, <coughs> that's how you cried. <coughs> and the doctor was like, oh, oh Jesus. He was thinking into the doctor's mind in the birth room. Oh, fuck, what do I say? What do you say? You got this. You deliver babies all the time. It's a beautiful baby boy. Here you go. Already smells like shit, though. Partly because you shit on him when you pushed him out, and partly because I think he, it looks like one of his legs is actually made of shit. He has a foot made of shit. But I don't want to mention that to you. Hopefully it, he grows out of oh, it. No. We'll see. George, do you have one foot? If you do right now, it's because your shit made leg fucking fell off at the age of six months or something. And the doctor's like, yeah, it's fucking normal. And then your parents are like, oh, funky doctor. <laughs> smell like poo poo. Make me smell like poo poo. So to answer your question, George, um, I'm just in a real sort of sour mood. Yeah. Should we do rapid fire? Yeah, let's do rapid fire. 